I'm the flyest motherfucker at the kickback. Not a competition, little boy with a wrist that Hit me in the bathroom, I don't want to sit chat. She ain't not a boyfriend, heard he got a six pack. I don't get a six The whole situation with Andrew Tate. Oh, yeah. Bro, it's just crazy because, like, they try to shut him down so many times and look at him. I don't know if you've seen, like, recent videos of him, but, bro, he looks way He looks fucking bigger. crazy, dude. He, he looks, looks huge. scarier, bro, and he's not even on house arrest anymore. Mm -hmm. My girl was telling me, and I was just like, he's not, and... Because they can't. They can't do anything to him. They can't. He, he didn't... He didn't he wasn't they, proven uh, guilty. Guilty of yeah, anything. So it's like and my the longest. Like, what about those girls? I'm like, what about them? Like, they literally like were setting him up. The world was setting his ass up. Yeah, Bro, and like even if he does come out uh, uh, and he did all those things, I don't. I really don't think so. Anymore. I don't either. It's like this guy has too much power, too yeah. much money to be doing some little shit like and that. And a great fucking mindset. I yeah, mean, like, he has Bro. a daughter as well. Yes, like, dude. Why would he do that? And people were like. Pick, like, painted his picture that he's not and he has a he woke me up bro and one day i was like i took shrooms yeah i want to take i've been thinking about taking another shroom trip i just did one last night oh yeah i've been thinking about it i'm like it would be really nice because i've been learning a lot and now it's a matter of completely i don't know if i don't understand something f to the fullest like i just want to see how it goes out yep and me and my girl took shrooms last week last weekend uh -huh. and it was her t first time taking it and oh really yeah bro and she micro she microdosed her way in yeah yeah she little by little it. yes yeah and um it was such a vibe bro like honestly it was a fucking amazing trip uh we were chilling watching black mirror uh-huh and it was sick bro like something i realized you cannot watch scary movies on shrooms or no. Anything like I don't that. like watching any movies on shrooms. I like watching funny shit, bro, because you get the giggles. Oh, and the giggles when you're with your significant other it makes it more better. Like really, I've been in scenarios where like it's me and my homies and we're laughing for like it feels like a whole hour, and then with her like it felt like infinity, bro. I, we're just like laughing over dumb shit, and I was just like, babe, like chill, like stop laughing. And we just <laughs> stop laughing, and she just start laughing. Like little again. kids, huh? Yeah, that's really what it feels like. You're just that's like, why I call it the giggles, cause like uh -huh. you never laugh like that yeah. like, in your life. But that trip was so amazing, and we we're just chilling in my room. Yeah, and like she, I like when she started watching that scary movie, like she started realizing, like she, I started realizing she had she was having a bad trip. Mm. And like she looked it at gets me. switched like this, yeah, bro. Man. And she looked at me and she was like, Babe, like, are you good? Like, like, I like you keep and I and I told her, I'm like, Babe, watch the movie, look, look. Because the mm -hmm. part, you know, when like a part is good and like she was basically being it. a commercial type shit, you know, yeah. like I was just like, Babe, watch the movie, like, the part's about to come. I had to repeat it three times, so like I was kind of getting like a little angry, but not <laughs> that angry. <laughs> and like the third time, like she looked at me and she was like, Babe, like. You're being really fucking mean. Like, you're being really rude right now. Like, and I was just like, I'm sorry, babe, I'm trying to watch this right now. And like, I was looking at the part and I was like, I'm not going to miss this this time. And like, she was like, bro, I'm going to the restroom. Like, you're being really mean. And like, I snapped out of my shit because like, yeah, I yeah, was yeah. Like, I'm doing something wrong right now. Uh -huh. So then like, have the I, microphone. So on your microphone, there's like a little symbol. Have so that in front of your mouth. That's where the microphone is. A symbol. Yeah. A little symbol, like a little squiggly almost. Oh, okay. So just have it right there in front of your mouth. That's where you speak into. Let me see. Oh, my it's bad. cool having the the headphones because you can see like how far. Like me, I've already learned how far I need to be from a microphone. Could so I'm like in somewhere in within that sweet spot. Yo, look at that. How crispy, huh? Yo, yeah, bro. But like the shroom trips that I've had, I've had how many times have I done it? Like actual trip trips, I guess from the first time I did like see the fucking. Uh, Patterns like, in the walls. balls and shit. Yeah. And, but the second time, it was more <laughs> of a mellow trip where I was just actively learning everything. You know what I mean? The first time, I would say that... It, so it started off, it was really, really cool. Like, I took, a, I took a shroom. I was watching Mike Tyson and Joe Rogan talk about it. And I was Bro. like, I have that mushroom. Fuck it. I'm going to take it. <laughs> so I'm cleaning my room. I finish. I just eat it. Mike Tyson style. I, I got to get all the juices. All of them. <laughs> and... I fucking okay, popped the shroom and I'm there just finishing cleaning my room. I had a podcast later that day. So I'm there. It was like hours away. 
I go outside and I'm like, all right, let's see. Nothing's happening. I'm starting to feel it a little bit. Nothing crazy. And I go upstairs with my dad and I start talking to him. And the lights, the LED strips that he has, they're starting. All of a sudden, they start going <laughs> like that. Like they start shining <laughs> like super bright. And all of a sudden, I started hearing this like, it's such a weird sound. Right? It almost hurt my ears. It was like a. And it would, I hear like a crack in my ear, dude. It was so weird. It was like a bee coming through and trying to crack in your ear. It, like think of a flashbang, right? You know uh-huh. how in the video games they throw a flashbang and you hear that. You hear that ring? Yeah. It was like that. Like distance? <laughs> you know what that means, right, bro? No. Somebody was probably talking mad shit. Shit. <laughs> 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 Bro, that's the only way. <laughs> yeah, that's the only reason for that shit. <laughs> this it explains everything actually. But um, and then after that, my sister's boyfriend was telling me, "Oh, you should go watch some uh some ASAP Rocky music videos." Bro, he knows what he's doing. And I'm like, okay. So I go. I'm like, this is. I'm starting to feel it a lot. Let me go and understand this by myself, cause I I'll see you guys in a bit. So all I say, right. do it to my dad. Say, all Your right, I'll see you guys in a bit. It? Huh? Your pops was on it. Nah, he was upstairs. <laughs> He was upstairs, but he was he, he was just smoking his weed, I think. I was, but I was on the mushroom trip. So I went down into my studio, and I have some silk sheets, right? Dude, silk sheets while you're on mushrooms feel so... <sighs> one of the best feelings I've ever felt, bro. I never even realized that. Yeah, and I'm just laying in my bed watching the ASAP Rocky music video. I watched uh, LSD first, and that was crazy. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> you know, like I was really into the fucking video. I was feeling Bro, everything. The everything, little light beats, everything. Everything was sick. And then the transition in the middle of the video, <laughs> Bro, when like he goes in the mirror. I took, I think it was acid with one Oof. of my homies. And we're chilling in his whip. It's smoking and shit. And we're hotboxing the whip. So <laughs> like it was at night part in his part in his driveway. Uh-huh. And just picture a whole car. <clears throat> hot box windows tinted everything and i pop out my phone bro and he was rolling a blunt i was like bro i'm gonna watch this music video okay wait, yeah. let me connect so i connected and when i connected bro his sound system was just Bumping. booming bro yeah. and like i felt the vibration like all in my fucking seat <laughs> and yeah bro i was just <laughs> like bro this shit feels like a massage bro <laughs> and as soon as I pop up the video, bro, we I put the video right there in between us and like tell me why that shit projected <laughs> into your soul. You know, no, bro, like it came out and it became 3D. Oh, like Star Wars? Like when they like had the thing and it's like Woo. Yeah. 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 Just yeah. like that. But everything came hologram. out and a hologram, literally. And me and Ham took the same amount of acid I and we guess. were looking at the same shit, bro. Like we were both at the same, like, at the same vibe. You're seeing we this shit looking too at each- Yes. Bro, like, he was sitting, he stopped rolling the blunt. He couldn't even finish <laughs> rolling the fucking blunt. He had to pass it to me, bro. He was just like, bro, I can't roll this, bro. He was just stuck on the videos. He was like, let's I watch this one. Let's watch that one, bro. We were can't tripping. Move. <laughs> Literally, bro, like, that shit, we're just, like, watching that shit. And, like, I could see him tripping and, like, looking at the whole video and, like, staring at, like, airplanes pass by and shit. And I... I was just like, bro, we should go inside and watch a fucking movie, like, on your fucking fad-ass screen. He was like, Pineapple Express. I was like, let's I'm go, down. bro. Yeah. That shit was sick. But I remember we were playing COD, too, bro. And we could, I couldn't even function. Uh-huh. I couldn't even play the game. He was like, bro, shoot the fucking zombies. And I was just like, I can't. <clears throat> I can't, bro. Just take over. He took over, bro. Tell me why, like. Mid game when he was going crazy, my dumb ass, I don't know what happened to me. I just grabbed the remote, bro. I was like, bro, you're gonna fucking die, bro. Like, shit. <laughs> he was like, bro, you just take my fucking remote with my, away from my hands. And I was just like, oh, bro, I'm sorry. It's, it's not like, my fault you suck ass <laughs> shit. <laughs> Tell me why. Start I playing claw bro. and everything. <laughs> Be like, For hey, zombies? I'm trick shotting this fucking zombie right now. <laughs> <laughs> Pull out the turtle beaches real quick. Hold on. Hold on, Surround system technical. and everything. <laughs> Dude, my headphones, oh, these headphones over there, like connected to my PC, they come with like a 7.1 surround system. 
just press the button it goes you hear everything bro For you real? hear people's heartbeats in the game damn pretty good headphones highly recommend them i haven't <clears throat> been i haven't videos? played any video games dude i all. don't have any video games on my computer anymore For real? i don't play any video games like i have my playstation and most of my video games that i purchased they're all like yeah, yeah. digital and shit so i'm just like Damn, like I spent all this money on all <laughs> these games and all I could do it. I was looking through, uh, where was I? Probably like on Twitter or some shit or TikTok. And I was watching a Fortnite video. I was like, damn, I really wasted so much time playing all these video games, buying so much money on skins, bro, for nothing. Fuck is wrong you with you? You and I both. Skins, what those fucking. The pickaxes. The pickaxes. Yeah. What else? Emotes. Yeah, <laughs> we spent so we spent so much money on that game. We spent so much money for these our characters to be able to dance, bro. Hey, but we I put have, those fuckers to use. I heard we can sell the skins. You can sell the skins now, bro. I, I'm about to fuck around and uh, find all out. of them. I don't need them. I don't. I don't play that shit. I'm like, I'm down to get my money back. And it's like um, I do miss playing video games. Like I think about it all the time. I'm like, damn, we we had some good times. We had some fun. But I'm like, I think I'm having way more fun actually experiencing, experiencing it. Yeah. things, you know, instead I of staying that. in my room playing. I can spend my day just cre like actually playing a video game as a YouTuber. Uh huh. That's what I'm thinking about it as. Yeah, I feel that, bro. I once I like stopped playing video games, I stopped because I started DJing, and <clears throat> I so started like transitioned DJing. over. Literally, and it felt like a video game, bro, because you're beat matching. You're trying to put two songs together, make them sound yeah, like yeah. similar, transition in mind. It has out. its own tricks. Literally, bro. Own technique. And it's your own art. Yeah. And you can do EDM, you can do ratchet, uh, drill, hip hop, old. So many genres to choose from. Yeah, yeah, literally, bro. What is, what is the. There's just one that my friend Okeke said. I think it was like. Uh, boom. Boom bop? Boom bop. Oh, it was Ergi that said it. Boom bop? Something like that. Boom bop. I don't know what it is. I think that's what it's, I think that's what they said. Like a boom bop beat. Something. I don't know, bro. <laughs> boom bop. It sounds familiar. I've heard that, but Damn. God damn. I know. Some of them fell. They they no, they, they shut that door with it. passion. They fall in, they can't get up. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that shit. <laughs> Wait, how's DJing been? Honestly, that shit's been so amazing. Like it looks like you're having a lot of fun, bro. Bro. Yeah. It's so fun. And like, I, that's like your type of energy, you know? You, literally. You know, that's exactly your energy, and you know? Yesterday, we're at my homie's um birthday little surprise. Uh, his girlfriend threw for him. Mm -hmm. And they're all asking. They're like, hey, bro, bring your shit, bring your shit. I'm like, bro, I don't live in Harupa no more. I got to drive to the Dino and back. And they're like, fuck. And they were telling my boy Marcos, they were like, um... Go get your shit. But they're telling the birthday boy to go drive and go get his shit after he just slammed like a couple bottles of tequila and shit. Oh my. <laughs> bro, this boy was like rocked. But it was all over the place. But it was sick. It was a vibe. And somebody was on Ox. And I was just like, you know what? They're playing house. Uh -huh. So might as well just throw my mix on. And I threw my mix on, bro. And I was observing the building. Like literally the room. And everybody was vibing, bro. And just I was just turning like... Up. I fuck with that, bro. And that's how you do it. You, you're you supposed to put your work out there. And I didn't tell nobody it was my mix. And people were coming to me. Like, all my boys, they're like, bro, is this your mix? Like, this shit sound familiar, bro. And I'm like, I love you, bro. And I tell them that shit because I know they listen to my shit. Yeah, and they're yeah. coming to me and asking me, I mean, like. I've heard, you, I've heard this one before. I heard this shit before. Like, I like that, too. When they come and bring up, oh, in that one podcast that you had. Or, like, oh, I remember that drawing that you did with yeah, the. Bro. That was fucking dope, bro. I'm like. Cool. You're actually yeah, like, yeah, yeah. taking in you, whatever. That's that feedback you yeah. always want, and you always gotta pay attention to that shit. Because if you let it go by, you're not gonna see your work's um, recognition. Yeah. So I tend to take note in everybody's feedback. Everybody yeah. that comes from love, even if they're a stranger, I'm like, bro, what's your name, bro? I'm I'm DJ Sergio, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, nice to meet you. I appreciate you. Like, give me your feedback. Like, I yeah. let them know. Because yeah. I it want, makes you better. Yeah, I want other DJs to get that feedback too. You mm -hmm. know, like I, like it's a good feeling. And I'm how not do you even, see yourself as a DJ? Like, in what perspective? I, 
I'm sucio. Sucio? You're dirty with it? Dirty with it. Yeah. But like, um, I don't know. Because there's the DJs that just, uh, I don't know, they do it as a job. There's some DJs that do it as like an oh. artist standpoint, bro. Like how how deep into DJ do you see it? I take this shit personal. Yeah, that's like, part of you now. Like I'm so passionate about it that my girl has to. He has to sit me. up for it. Everything else, yeah. with you, bro. <laughs> shit, I'm like, bro, I need to get over right now. Like I'm so passionate about this shit, bro. Like my girl has to ask for time for us and shit because, like, when we go out, I go straight to the controller, yeah. and it's just it's not it's not that I want to. It just happens. Because I made this shit like it's just a part of you. Yeah, yeah literally. You just do it without even without even thinking it for about a it. I don't know, dude. I think about it, bro. And my girl was telling me she was like, "Babe, like when we go to like functions or kickbacks or like get-togethers, like be present. You know, like you're always on that controller. Like you you never socialize no more. Like you're always stuck on that shit and just mixing." Mm-hmm. And I'm like, "Well, like I didn't even realize that." It's because sometimes it's. I do want to socialize. It's just you guys don't want to talk about the yeah. things that I want to talk about. And right now, my mind's at DJing. Yeah. That's why it's cool that I always say, like, oh, you should hang out with more people who do the same thing that you do. Because, bro, the way, I don't know, it's like an invisible energy. And it's just there. Bro. In the, in the air. That, <clears throat> like, what you just said right now. Mm-hmm. It's It's perfect because you get motivated. Mm-hmm. You know, you see other people doing the same thing you're doing. And it's just around being the same artist as you, you know, you guys are all practicing that same art of DJing and you learn as you go. Like, Mm -hmm. say, I'm going back to back with me and my homie. Mm -hmm. Like I'm that third hand he don't have. Mm -hmm. So say like he's transitioning into a song. I'm using effects on the other side of the controller. So like it sounds better. Mm -hmm. And like you don't even ask him like that's what a back to back is like. He's doing something and you like go in and make it sound like even better. Flowing. Yeah, like yeah. Oh, you, you guys are actually going back to back. Mm-hmm. And that's our sessions when we go back to back with me and my boys. Like I just had a recent a couple shows and the first show at Mescal, bro, that shit was so lit. Like me and Alex had that shit going, bro. Shout out to the Alex. But <clears throat> we we're so stoked. And it was like basically our first back to back. Both yeah. of us, yeah. Double and, teaming that bitch. <clears throat> bro, we were just like, bro, you ready? Like, we're on in three hours. And every time somebody hopped off, we are just like, two hours, bro. We're ready, bro. <laughs> we're we're next, stoked. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. And once we went on, bro, like, we went on until the one forty-five in the morning. And that's when the lights shut out. So the Literally. very end. And the club doesn't shut the lights out. It, it has a timer set to everything to shut out. And mm-hmm. people were still dancing, bro. Like, they were still dancing, vibing. You saw success like, in the night. Yeah, yeah, bro. And it was just crazy. And me and Alex, like, after, after like, the whole set turned down, mm-hmm. like, me and him were looking at each other. And I was just like, bro, Alex, like, we, we did that, bro. Like, people are still trying to dance. They're not going home. Like, they don't even know the time. Like, mm-hmm. they just they didn't know what They're happened. They're Everything shut out. And yeah. everybody's just like, whoa. Like, what happened to the music? And we're, we're back to, to reality. Get... Damn, and the, bro. Yeah, bro. And the host came through and, like, he was like, hey, bro, like, club shut it down. And I was like, no way, bro. Like, look at all these people trying to dance. Like I'm trying to make you like, guys more money. Bro. We can go all night. He was literally saying that shit. Hey, come come through next Thursday. And mm-hmm. now it's just a matter. You're already doing it. Now it's just a matter of how you said sharing it with everybody. Yeah. Oh, so you add that, you know, that video, social media content aspect behind it, bro. You're you're doing good work. And that's what I need to start doing. Put my shit out there in in social media. <clears throat> when I have my next show, I want you to come out, put you on my guest list, and then uh-huh. we'll, we'll make some work. See, like that, I'll go, you know, because I, it's, I don't know, the environment of like bumping and partying and stuff like that, it's not my environment anymore, mm. you know? <laughs> so like even how you said, oh, babe, uh, you don't socialize anymore when we go to these gatherings. You're like, well, yes, because, you know, I'm, I'd rather be doing something else right now. Yeah. And it's about letting go of like some, not like ditching them, but I'm saying like, listen, you guys know what I have to do. 
I'll be back. Just let me go take care yeah. of some shit. You know, exactly. and your homies, your real homies will be like, nah, he's taking some, he's taking care of some shit. Literally. You know? They respect that, you know? And that's, a, I think that's how you di- differentiate, big word. Ouch. Um, <laughs> Yeah. The the real ones versus the people who are just there killing oh, yeah. time, you know? And um, school, like, yeah, you let go of some people, but you gain these new people who are doing exactly what you're looking for. Literally, bro. You know? To and learn what, from. What I love is that my, I have a group chat. It's called Bender Stars. And we it's literally like almost 20 people in there. And mm-hmm. guys and girls, bro, we're a huge like support system. Mm-hmm. All the guys, I want to say all the guys and they're they're all DJs. And the girls always come out, bring their girls, bring their guy friends. Like it's it's just a whole unit mm-hmm. to our shows. Anybody that has a show. We always go. Mm-hmm. We go support. We always make sure like the DJ goes off, mm-hmm. and it's straight vibes because yeah. they hop on our guest list. They don't have to pay. You just go in for drinks. Like it's such a vibe, bro. Like you know you're gonna kill it because your people's got your back, and yeah. you got you, you guys got... are all there trying to make it the best that you yeah. can. Yeah, I get you. And like later on, you go home. The group chat's all like, hey, Surge, or hey, Chew, like, hey, you kill that shit tonight, this and that. And, like, it makes you feel yourself. good. Yeah, bro. It's, like, it's a different sense of dopamine. It's Literally. like, I've become better today. And for, for sure. They they just told me they did. Yeah, bro. You know? Literally. And, like, I had that shit last night at the homies, Marcos' um, birthday. Mm-hmm. He was like, bro, like, Surge, you've been getting so much better bro and it's like insane like mm-hmm. it's and it's crazy bro because like it motivates me to wanna to want to make music yeah and that's my next step mm-hmm. i've not fully because there's so much shit to learn with this shit bro like but, you would can, you ever expand on just from djing oh yeah what would you expand to oh like um i don't know take it a step further from DJing so like you know how some people go from like DJing to producer to artist to I don't know I want to do I'm a DJ right now Mm -hmm. I want to do DJing to producing music producing yeah and making my own music so I can DJ my music you know Mm. because I've been touching down on every genre I can that I know like I just sit there bro Every day, like I literally, it's nonstop. Mm-hmm. I sit there, SoundCloud, searching through songs, yeah. listening it from build up to How drop. How do you listen to music? Like, what do you look for when you listen to music? Or like, some people close My their sound. eyes, huh? My sound, your sound. Like, when when it comes down to DJing, you want it your own sound. And how do you describe your own sound? My sound. Yeah, I want to. I have. I have a lot. Honestly, <laughs> like that's that's how much I fuck with this shit, bro. Yeah. Like I I've learned to master reggaeton. Uh-huh. I used to do like quinceañeras, weddings, and shit. Yeah. So like I got used to like Vicente Fernandez and yeah, yeah. all these other artists. <clears throat> but I want to no say family tech house. tech house, tech house, tech house. Okay, it's more of a, like funky. Um, no, it's not funky. It's I love funk, funk yeah. house too, bro. Funk yeah. house is so fun. Like <laughs> all, that's why I love EDM. Mm-hmm. Like you got techno, dubstep, hard style, house, ho- tech house, Me Latin house, like crazy, bro. You can literally do it all. Yeah. And what's so good about it is that you can go from bass house to tech house, and that tech house like speed it up, and then now you're at techno. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just a. Yeah, you, you, I don't it's know how to so fun. It. Like a circle. The cycle. Cycle. Literally. Cycle. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> but like, Bro. I don't know. Do you see something different when you close your eyes and listen to the music? Is there something that you're looking for in those music that you listen to? Yes. What do you look for? <clears throat> Besides your sound. The bass line. The bass line. Okay. I'm a bass line guy. I like mm-hmm. that. That when you hear that bass. Mm-hmm. And the sound goes with it, bro. Just, I'd play a song, but I don't want to get copyrighted for you. Yeah, don't take it down <laughs> right away. But you don't even play with that shit no more. Oh, I know, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> no, bro. But I look for the bass line, mm-hmm. hi hats. Okay, because that's what like 
like it low key enhances the song. Yeah, like it's just like because the hi hat usually plays like almost every beat, right? It's like yeah. Well, EDM is different because hi hats and snares are like really big and shit. When it comes down to like bringing it in on the second beat drop, like there's this um DJ I like called Mal P, mm-hmm. and he has a song "Drugs from Amsterdam," and mm-hmm. he starts it out with the first beat drop, but it's it's so sick, like because it goes from one, two, three, mm-hmm. and the third beat drop it was it's like the best, and it goes it's like bass and then the rhythm and then you got the bass rhythm build up drop and then you got the snares everything it's all put together literally yeah yeah yeah. yeah. and it builds its way up so once you hear the end you're just like holy shit like this Uh this shit bang bro like you start fucking doing that like like, you just sit there and you're just like motherfucker why didn't you start that shit at the (laughs) beginning and then keep going at the end but it's his work yeah, you know, yeah. it's how he creates his music and mm-hmm. everybody loves it. I yeah. love that shit when I first heard that shit. I it's was like, simplifying and building. Literally. Yeah. And my friend Adrian was uh, on the podcast and he was telling me about this song. It's a metal song. Heavy metal, right? Heavy metal. He's like, it's cool because, I don't know, it might be different because I like listening to that music. But it's cool because you hear every instrument individually. Even just like the, the vocals and then the fucking guitar. And the dead fucking drums. And then there's like a part where it all comes together. And I heard it the other day when I was editing the podcast. I was like, okay, let me go hear it. So I go listen to it. And I'm like, ah, I see what he means. Because, yeah, you hear everything. And it's just all of a sudden. Yep. You know? Yep. It's fucking crazy. Art. Art. Literally. <clears throat> Music is so beautiful, bro. Because, like, you'll never know. And yeah. it's never going to die. Music is never going to die, bro, because people are still stamp sampling music from, like, years ago. And they're converting him and making him, like, in a dance rhythm. What about AI? Do you think AI will ever just take over the music world? Technology is very scary, bro. Yeah, because they're getting good at it. They're getting very good at it's it. It's really scary. Even Even Elon doesn't have control of it and i'm pretty sure i'm highly guaranteed he created that shit and the government was all like oh give me your creation motherfucker what are you gonna do about it you know like yeah you can't my friend amber was telling me about uh how movies like they're no there's a writer's strike so the writers for like movies they're not getting paid enough they're like okay cool script here you go they take it and then they make go make millions and the writer's just left there and now I thought to think about it, like, think about AI. They just type in, make me a movie about this character in this environment who has to do this. Make it dramatic, make it scary, make it, blah, 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 blah. write me a script. The AI writes a whole script. There's no longer a need for writers. And then if they really, like, took it a step further, they can implement the AI into, like, their videography and how they shoot or in the editing. Edit it for me in this way. Make it the color grade of orange and green or some shit and they just do it all through there so there's not going to be a need for a lot of jobs if they get that good they're going to get that good bro because i don't think there's there's no limits to that shit ai we ai is going to be different Mm -hmm. you know like our thoughts are something else and there's shit already happening about about like ai with alexa yeah no, and especially now, bro, where people are so limited in their minds. Oh, yeah. Like, I was going to say right now, I don't think our creativity compares to AI. Because mm. fucking, if we really think about it, like, our creativity has done some amazing things. Oh, yeah. But people are limited now. People think they can't do a whole bunch of shit. So when you got some, sorry for my language, some dumb masters, as of right now, you know, they don't know. They're not learning anything. They're not looking for to learn anything. They're not doing anything. Of course, this thing that's just there doing everything as much as it can is going to easily take over everybody yeah. else. And then everyone's going to be like, they're taking over our jobs. Well, like, it's because you got comfortable. Yeah. You know, you're not looking to expand. You're doing the bare minimum. I know you're doing a lot and like hauling ass. I know I understand that. But that's the bare minimum. That's something replaceable. Yep. You got to have something in your mind that's irreplaceable. Bro, that's just 
The Dino. I live in the Dino. I went to my local CVS. Bro, the doors to get drinks, ice cream, and all that shit. Uh-huh. It's all digital now. What? Literally, I had the Dino. I'm like, bro, I'm in the ghetto, bro. You really gonna put that in my face? Yeah. And you open it, and your item is literally where that picture, the icon is. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen that before. Yeah. I think it's and pretty cool. It's cool. But it's but different. It's, it's very different. Yeah, bro. It's it's everything is advancing. And I went to the casino with my pops, and there's a buffet there. And I made a reservation to go eat with him. And bro, I go grab my plate, go to the line. I see a fucking robot, bro, with like dirty dishes on top of it. And it's saying like there's a screen on it and it says make way. Mm-hmm. And every time it, like, detects somebody that's in front of it, it stops. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, yeah. you don't need fucking waiters Waiters. to come. Like, you're just bringing your food. Eventually, you're going to have one day. One day, you're going to have to, like, put your dirty plate on that robot. And that shit will take it back to the... Dude, what if it gets to the point where even the robots have standards? Where you have to, like, put... Oh, like, in China, they have a social credit system, right? If you do good, your social credit goes up, meaning you can go into bigger places. If you do, if you like talk bad about the government, if you commit a crime, your social credit system, your score goes down. And like, if you have a very low social credit system, you can't do a lot of things. You can't go into this place. You can't go experience this. It's scary. Damn. So imagine if we had it like that because of the fucking robots, like some picky ass robots. Bro. You're going to have to be like this all the time, everybody. Or else you're just going to, oof. That's scary, bro. If America got like that. America's going to shit. Right now, yeah. Yeah. Like, but that's what I'm saying. It's going to shit, but we can change that. It's just, again, everyone's limited. Nobody was doing anything about it. Yep. Even if it's something so small, you know? They don't want to expand anymore. And <clears throat> it has to do a lot with this generation, too. Yeah. It was baby boomer season, bro. And all the 2,000 babies basically have to replace all the old people in the fields yeah and what's scary is our generation is not a not we didn't learn the same traits that they did no unless you were like working with your dad in that field before and that's how you know but even so like you're not thinking of staying in that field anymore people aren't thinking of careers anymore or at least that i'm thinking they're people want to live being too comfortable yeah bro they want to experience fun like What's crazy is that I was like, I started college at 17 mm-hmm. and everybody was like, what the fuck? Like, My God, you already went to college yeah. when, when I graduated, they're like, you're so young, like this and that. I'm like, bro, would you expect me to go to a fucking party and <clears throat> mm-hmm. work at Amazon and shit? I didn't even see it like that, bro. I just did it because I was just like, fuck it. Like, I'm down and like, I'm already in the field of mechanics. Mm-hmm. So might as well just advance in that shit. And, and actually learn more about what I like. Yeah. Oh, yeah, bro. And see, that's the thing that I like, too. Because I didn't go to college. Oh, I did. I went for college. I went to college for two quarters at UCR. I didn't really gain oh, anything from it. That. Right? But my YouTube. Dude, YouTube University has been the biggest university ever, bro. I've learned everything that I know through YouTube. Yeah, 100%. Whether it's drawing, podcasting, video editing video recording photography the things that i like to the max and i still haven't gotten to the max you know Mm -hmm. but it's there and that's what i'm saying to a lot of people it's like you have no excuses anymore to say that you don't know no it's all it's all about how hungry you want it Mm -hmm. you know how hungry you are i've even noticed that i've been saying that a lot oh i don't know but i'll figure it out yeah you know let me just go get the answer real quick yeah and people are like, oh, you don't know, you don't know. I'm like, yeah, you, you don't know either. The only difference between me and you is that I'm actively looking for the answer and you're just there. Clueless. You know what's crazy? Yeah. Literally, we have the answers in our hands. Yeah. What's and it called? nobody wants to put in the work. I had a customer one time. I worked at the camera shop, at the camera shop and this guy's asking me questions about all these lights, like seven different lights. I'm like, shit, I'm not Google. I don't fucking know. I just work here, you know? <laughs> and he's like, ¿Y cuánto cuesta esta? I'm like, I don't know. Let me go check for you. And he's like, and can this do this and this and that and this and that? I'm like, oh, I don't know, but I'll figure it out for you. Let me see. 
And then he asked me another question. I said, I don't know. I'm go figure it out. He's like, ah, no sabes, no sabes, no sabes. Entonces, ¿qué sabes? I'm like, a ver, usted dime. ¿Cuánto cuesta esa? I'm going to go look for the answer. That's the difference. You're going to stay there clueless, not knowing the answer. And I'm like, all right, I know it. Now I'm choosing to spread my information with you. That's what I'm saying. That's why I like this podcast. Because you share your mind. Yeah. And sometimes it's things that you don't really get to talk about. You know, because everyone's doing their own thing. And that's what I like. That I'm learning from everyone's different thing. So here I'm learning about music, about art, about, I guess, how to expand your mind. And about DJing. But what would you like to do? I feel that. You know, it's cool. Yeah, that's suck. And that's Talk what I've been that. thinking about the every episode. It's like every episode's a different mind. I never even thought about it like that, bro. Mm-hmm. And now that you put it like that, like, I want, <clears throat> I want to listen to something else other than just music. You know? Yeah. And podcasts are the, like, the way you just put it, podcast sounds so sick. And I never really, like, fully sat there and watched the podcast. Mm-hmm. Yours, anybody's, you know, because I don't have the time in my hands no more. I try to be as busy as I can. And I go to work, come back, shower, eat, and then I start mixing. Mm-hmm. Literally start mixing, bro. And this is every day. Mm-hmm. On a daily basis. That's how it should yeah, be. That's it what I'm is. saying. People want to get so good at some things, but they don't put that. I got, dude, that I word. remember fucking grinding hours of just drawing Pokemon over and over, Dragon Ball Z characters, anime characters all day long. Like, no wonder I got to where I'm at. Yeah. You know? And that's what I'm saying with this. If I want to see the progress, I got to be doing it yep. this all fucking day, thinking about it. Every day. That's how it works. No days off. Nobody wants to put in that consistency. No, bro. And. I don't even like think about it, bro. It just like it just happens. I just get home and I'm like, all right, I found all these new songs while I was at work because mm-hmm. I play that shit like on SoundCloud. You get like um, shit you listen to, and each song has like different different waves of being. So it could be like Tech House, Latin House. Put that wire on this side of your leg so it doesn't rub the microphone. Cool. Perfect. But, um, Like all the genres and you click on that song and it shows you basically like similar songs that sounds just like yeah, that yeah, song. Yeah. And that song is in your playlist. Uh-huh. So I sit there and I listen and any song I like, I throw it in a playlist and I go home, download them and then mix them. Yeah. And it's so fun, bro, because like. It's new songs you hear and you're just like, holy shit, like the shit fucking banging right now. Yeah. And then you hear another song and you're like, fuck it's yeah, bro. Like different. I can mix so the shit in with too. this one. And yeah. like I already like picture it in my hand. So when I get home and I hear it, I'm mm-hmm. like, fuck, bro, I want to record this shit right now. When it starts connecting together and it makes sense. Yeah. That's the beautiful part. Yes, bro. And that's oh what God. I'm getting with this. Like I'm learning a lot from different people that life itself is making a lot more sense. You yep. know, because it all correlates in different from different perspectives. Yeah. You as a DJ or my friend as a heavy metal, guitarist. you know, guitarist or a comedian, you know, they all have something in their minds. And I guess that's just either life of being a human, I guess. Yeah. It's crazy. I like learning. I love learning too, bro. Knowledge is so dangerous. Mm-hmm. And the more you know, the better. Yeah. Honestly. Because... I've learned that everything becomes so simple Mm -hmm. and people overthink it a lot. Fuck yeah. Like, bro, you see, I I don't know. I see some of them, uh, well, not my friends, but like, I don't know, just regular people and the problems that they have. It's like, dude, like even for example, like how you come home from work and start DJing, I would do the same thing and it'd be like, oh, I have to edit this podcast episode. It's so fucking long. (laughs) And I got to the point where it's like, bro, Stop your bitching. And like, it really is that. Honestly. Just fucking do it and have fun. And it's, it's, I think I'm coming to that point where, you, how you said, you just do it. You know, Honestly. you don't even think about it. You're just fucking working. Just set your mind to, like, a 
positive perspective yeah you know like positive energy only th- yeah bro don't it really don't think that. of it like fuck like i don't want to go home and mix right now like mm-hmm. just be like fuck yeah i can like i can't wait to fucking go home and mix these songs i just found like this is what i want to do why the fuck am i bitching about yeah. it you know what i mean literally like and djing like i don't even consider it work like mm-hmm. i just consider it like a video game yeah. you know my hobby like mm-hmm. it's like a gym Everybody you come to back gym. to your world. Yeah. yeah. Literally. And what I love about it is that every day is a different mood. Mm. Like, you feel me? Like, yeah. I could feel like hyped as fuck, ready to go home and DJ some house. And, and then, then tomorrow could be cast. like J. Cole, fucking yeah. Roddy Rich, and all that shit, bro. And mm-hmm. like, it's, it's so sick because like most songs sound alike in many many forms bro like i could use a bass from one song uh-huh and then a acapella from another song yeah and then like mash them up it works out like, perfectly yeah. and it's the art of music you know literally it all connects i in love some way in, all, in, in like, every way in rhythm and patterns yep patterns of life patterns of music i love djing like mellow shit bro yeah it's it's such a vibe it's a process, but it's such a vibe, bro. Like, I, I like... Is it because it gives you more time to, like, process the yeah. sound of it? And then, like, you can sneak in an- another song and have, like, the beginning of the song be like... Dun, 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 Just loop that. Mm-hmm. And then while the other song playing, and they just bring it in. And then you already hear that other song coming in, and you know what song is going to come in. Uh-huh. But you, you, like waiting for it and once you drop it bro it like makes the song more Mm -hmm. more better see i think from you learning how to dj if you were to go into producing it'd be so easy yeah it's just a matter of like learning the technical side of producing of like how to Mm -hmm. make the thing how to do put this here how to add that but then the whole aspect of music you're getting it you know what you're looking for so now it's a matter of you building your own yep 100 percent You've already built something of your own with somebody else's craft. Now it's a matter of fucking fully Creating. going into it, dude. And what I love about DJing is, like, I find new sounds mm-hmm. every day. Yeah. You know? And, like, I'm just like, bro, like, this kid is insane. Mm-hmm. And he only has, like, what, like, 11,000 plays? Yeah. And I just sit there and I'm like, bro, like, I don't get di- dismotivated either. And I just, like, it's all a game. Mm-hmm. literally it's it's how you create your craft how you put yourself out there the more people you know the better because mm-hmm. they'll share your shit out with the world yeah they got a different platform than you do and it that's why support systems are so fucking amazing bro like i recognize my support system and like i'm so grateful for them it's like some people are living lives at, as npcs yeah and they think that's the normal way to go. Literally, bro. Like, okay, I wake up, I go do this, I go do that, I stand here, and I, that's it. That's it. You know, and now, like, even just by perfecting your craft or learning something and being fully passionate about it, it allows you to be almost, like, I wouldn't say a main character, but you do, do kind of feel like that of your own story. So Maybe GTA. not towards the world yeah online gta yeah the you video log game. in how you said the video game literally bro you log in onto online gta what do you do you enter and you see everybody everybody's a different level mm-hmm. everybody got different characters yeah funny characters hard ass characters you know it could be like a, a girl playing too you got like a female character like yeah yeah and like say it's like gta you log in to the real world Mm-hmm. create your character you're your own gta character yeah you want to be a high fucking level have all the cars have in a your fucking, own way it literally yeah it, in, maybe not even in the money standpoint but like yeah i want to be the best dj in the entire world that's what i'm saying you know what i'm saying what's wrong with thinking that yeah so like, like when you say that i believe it it's like bro if you truly believe it then i believe it too it's like that it really is like that for everything in any art because yeah. i know how much there is to learn and grow. And I've seen some people who don't have that same mentality towards it. That have made it so far. So I'm like, you got there without even trying. Now, what would happen if you really tried? If yeah. you've already 
um, actively putting everything that you've learned into work? You know, how far and how fast you can get there. You know what's crazy? Mm. When I first started DJing, like, I instantly wanted to, like, start DJing hella parties and, like, be out there in the scene and become a DJ. Mm -hmm. And now the opportunities come to me. And I used to stress back then, and I'm like, fuck, like, all my homies are playing at clubs, and I'm not playing at clubs, and I, I wasn't living there. in the moment. Fuck, I'm not getting the money that I'm supposed to. Fuck, yep. fuck. Rushing and, it. Like, it's just don't rush it, bro. It's Patience. a step at a time. Like, yeah. you're climbing a ladder. You're not going to skip five steps. Yeah. Take step by step. Because if you fall down, you'll know how to get back up step by step. Yeah. And you can't rush it. You can't. Yeah. And I learned the hard way, and my girl has even put me in check, too. She's like, babe, like, be humble, like... Mm -hmm. Never take shit for granted. Always fucking recognize, like, when you get opportunities handed to you. Like, it's just so so crazy, bro. And I that don't support, give myself... Uh, huh? That level of support. Yeah. It kind of, like, sets your mind straight. Like, okay, I'm thinking the right mm -hmm. way. I'm going to keep thinking this way. Literally, bro. It's working. And always remain humble in everything you're doing, bro. Because just like that, yeah. shit can be taken away from you. Honestly, mm -hmm. and like nothing's promised in his life. So make the most of it. Yep. Yeah. Live the way you want. Like to. there's no tomorrow. And that's what I'm saying. Some people take that for granted too. Live yeah, how bro. you want to. Right. You have. You're free. Like you're free to do whatever you Create want in this your world. Own life. And then you're over here cagando palo doing <laughs> bullshit. Like because you feel like it. <laughs> like what the fuck, bro? I can't with people. That's like, what people don't understand. It's like yes, live the way that you want to, but do something. Yeah. Like be productive. Yeah, with one thing, L Literally. like and something and live through it. You know, you what, know I mean? what I learned at military camp? Uh huh. They've they've always showed me this, and it's stayed with me f for the rest of my life. And always wake up mm -hmm. and do your bed. Yeah. Why? Because you already accomplished one thing in your day. Waking up, like. Just imagine, just set, sh keep setting goals, mm -hmm. keep setting accomplishments you got to knock out. It only makes you feel good. Mm -hmm. No limits. Yeah. Literally, bro. You wake up, do, your, do bed. your bed, go to the shower, brush your teeth, piss, Whatever. your body's good. Hygiene's yeah. good. You're already taking care of a couple start of things. For the day. Yeah, bro. Yeah. One thing I was doing was going outside, right? The make, oh, the, making the, a break for yeah. sunlight. It's so cool. Cause bro. You, yeah, bro. You wake up and it. it sucks. It sucks waking up a little bit, but it's like, ah, I'm bitching. It. I think I, that's what I come back to a lot. Ah, I'm bitching. So I just keep <laughs> doing it, you know? So I go outside, you know, I get up. First, like, 10 minutes of me waking up, I run out. I go out to the front. And I'm like, all right. My mind's, like, still waking up, but my body's active. So I'm walking, just walking. My mind's kind of like, this is nice. You know, there's no one else out there. You're just taking in all the sun and that energy, the light that gets your that hits your eyes. That's what makes your brain work better, I guess. So you get tired when you're supposed to get tired, you know. So I wake up, I go out for that walk, I come back home. I and even just that little thing, I already did something that a lot of people aren't doing, you know. Mm -hmm. So if, it's cool, right? I already accomplished something by just getting that sunlight in my eyes. And it's about <coughs> doing things that you don't want to do, and then. Uh, Putting, that Putting yourself inside. in that uncomfortability stage. Cold showers. I've been ending it, all of my showers right. with cold showers. Same. And it's getting easier because it's like, all right, I know how bad it's going to be. Stop being a bitch. Let's go. And I go in there. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> fuck. I hate that shit, bro. Or I shadow box in the shower just so I don't focus on the coldness. Bro, I'd be jumping. I'd be like tiptoeing if I quick of eat. Bro. Over here moaning in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I'm like, <laughs> I, I hope my dad don't think I'll beat my jack right now, bro. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I turn the shower off and I'm like, oh, hell yeah, let's fucking go. And I, like in my head, I'm like, I just said all that shit in the shower, bro. My, probably, my dad probably think I'm tripping right now. He's going through it. <laughs> bro, I saw a TikTok video, bro, about a guy telling me like, Right before you get out of your shower, throw it, throw it all the way cold. Mm -hmm. Put it on your forehead for a minute, 
it's different. Yeah. It's and then so different. Put it on a minute after your forehead on your chest. <sighs> Bro, oh my god! Yeah. I told my girl, I'm like, babe, that's like, so true. That shit gives me like energy. Like, so that's an actual thing. Yeah. Wow. Because I've been noticing that when I go in the shower, I I let it hit my back first, just so my body cools down, mm -hmm. right? And then I'm like, okay. Then I hit my chest, so it's like, yeah, <sighs> the lungs. Kinda... Like, notice that your posture goes up because, like, you have to. Yeah. You have to control your breathing. Literally, you need to breathe. And you're just like. <sighs> And like I noticed, like my posture gets straight, and like because the 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 water gets so cold, we point where it's just like, oh yeah, I love, I love it. It strains you up, you know? Yeah, bro. And like when I have it on my forehead, I'm just like, it's like this. It hits your forehead, and your mind literally feels like it's going. Yeah, bro. Like taking a deep breath. Up. Yep. It's crazy. I love that shit. Yeah. And another thing I also learned is. I think that's what I look forward to now with the cold showers is the feeling afterwards. Yeah. You know why that is? Your body, right? When you go to sleep, that's what they say. Sleep in a cold environment because you want your body to um, start warming up by itself, right? Or no, start, start cooling down by itself. So at night, you take a hot shower, but, you're like, but your body will get warm, right? It's, it's, your body gets hot. Mm. But it's like, no. You take a hot shower, so when you come out, your body by itself cools down, and it gets you in that relaxed state. So it gets you better sleep. And in the mornings, when you take a cold shower, right, your body's hot. You get it so cold, and you let it warm up by itself, so it gives you more energy throughout the day. Towards the very end of the day, where you're like, oh, I'm kind of getting tired. But, People fight the sleep, you know? Yep. But it's like, no, go to sleep. Go enjoy your sleep fully. Literally. That's a that's a luxury right there, bro. Like even for me not going to work, going to sleep when I want to, waking up like in the morning and getting that break for sunlight, it's so so nice. Such a good liberty. I need that, bro. I something I would really want to do is get my full seven yeah. hours of sleep, take cold showers in the morning, go for a walk. But I want to go in the I want to go in the mornings like at six in the morning and run, bro. Because I heard that when you do cardio in the mornings. Your body loses more fat. I don't know really? why. I forget why, but oh, well, because you haven't eaten anything. So yeah, right. You're fasting. Your yeah. cardio, car intermittent fasting. Oh, that's when you do what it cardio is. uh and work out before eating, mm -hmm. so it, it kind of burns more calories. I think calories? that's how it works. <laughs> well, my fat ass needs to really get up and do some. Yeah, like me, I I'll be shadow boxing, shadow boxing, shadow boxing <laughs> in my dad's room. Just, you know, actively just um, like you're not even thinking about it. You're doing mm -hmm. it uh, subconsciously. You know, I'm just there. Fuck yeah. Fuck. Like me, DJ. Yeah. You just I feel do that. It. It's like a second sense. And I learned this from, I think, Andrew Tate. He said. Do it for two weeks and watch you start doing it on accident. Yeah. Literally, bro. Make it a habit. That's what I've been and, doing with the podcast. Yeah, anything, that anything makes so in much life. sense, you know. And he's right. I, I've, I did the showers uh -huh. for a week, and I couldn't handle it. I'm like, fuck it, bro. I need to start being a little panocha. <laughs> so there I go, bro. Putting that shit on my forehead, putting that shit on my chest. Every fucking day, it gives me energy, bro. Like I come home from work, I do that shit, and I'm like, bro. Before this fucking shower, I was ready to go to sleep. But fuck that shit. Now I got energy to go and I'm ready be more to productive. Go. I you feel like a superhero. Yeah. And my yeah. girl was telling me like two weeks ago and she was like, babe, like, why don't you get a second job? Like my dad was telling fuck me that, bro. And I'm down, bro. Yeah. Cause like I, I, I'm at a stage where I, I don't want, <laughs> I'm at a stage where I don't want no days off. Mm -hmm. oh. I, I want no days off. You want to be working, working? Yeah, bro. Okay. And I'm hungry for this shit. I really want. For like, music? Music, work. Uh -huh. My, I want to get a house with my lady and shit. Like, mm -hmm. I want to create a, a, a life, mm -hmm. you know? Like yeah. a young fucking. Like, the way it's supposed to be. People yeah. got it confused, bro. Yeah, that bro. You see, like, older, like, the, the generation before us, like, 40s and 30s, that divorce is the most normal shit to yeah. do. I'm like, why? Why does, what is it, like 70% of marriages end in, that's so sad. And people are just accepting it. Like, well, 
yeah, one day I'm going to get divorced. No, you're setting an excuse for yourself. You're not yeah, even fucking I'm trying gonna... anymore. You know what remember, I mean? Remember, we were like, your boys would be like, oh, hey, I, I got this girl's nude, this and that. And how girls, like, used to be so, like, like non-showing, not posting their, like, tits and mm-hmm. ass and all that shit. And their bikini. They wore their bikinis in their room, bro, taking a picture. So, like, I'm the one who would speak what they can wear and shit. But, like, this generation has changed so much. They post that shit. Now they make money off their bodies Only online. Fans. That's what I think of, too, sometimes. I mean, no offense to any OnlyFans, but it's like any OnlyFans girls. But it's like, I don't know. You've already let yourself out that way. Yeah. That it's never going to go back. No. Like, even in, I don't know, maybe it's just me. It depends on who they date afterwards. But me, if, like, you know how there was that question going around? Well, would you date an OnlyFans model? And they want you to say yes. Yes. Because if you don't say yes, you're some fucking You're a asshole. bitch. You're, yeah. yeah. Like, no, I wouldn't. I don't know, man. That's so sacred to me, you know? Yeah, I feel that, Having that relationship with your partner and getting to experience them fully yourself. No one else. What a what a luxury. What a, I don't know, such a beautiful thing in love. It's just a lot. They don't think about the future. They don't think about when they have kids. That information is going to get down to them because I remember my girl was watching Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Mm -hmm. And I think it was... Who's was it? I think it was one of the kids. One of the kids. She, he, the kid runs off to Kim Kardashian and he shows Kim Kardashian on Roblox that her picture with her, um, her sex tape, like it says, click here to watch Kim Kardashian's sex tape. And she, she grabs the iPad and she's like, what the fuck? Like, and she starts showing her sisters and she's like, can you believe this shit? Like, I'm so mad right now. And she starts calling her lawyers and she, and like, Bro, it just, you know, like, yeah. Kim Kardashian did not think about that sex tape in the moment. No. And look at it. That's just biting her in their ass. Because her kids are showing that shit to her. Leaked? Nah, bro. Nah. Y'all posted that shit. <laughs> Y'all posted that shit. <laughs> Y'all said, let's make some money. Oh, God, bro. Like, it's just it's just crazy, bro. Like, people don't think about their futures, their lives ahead, their yeah. family. They're, they're just selfish. Like, people, like, for, sac- for example sinning right like don't sin i'm not religious no that's not the thing huh. it's about doing the right, right thing, thing and avoiding the bad things like you learn so much like for example uh lust yep. that's a sin you see everybody out here the only fans people that are actively buying only fans that's lust. that's lust you know your greed bro it's sad it's everywhere it's sad and you don't have to be religious it's just a matter of doing, doing what's right, right. yeah and keep going like that yeah you can fuck up sometimes but it's a matter of actively doing good so people have gotten so comfortable now people have lost standard of themselves literally mm-hmm. and i feel like a lot of men we don't have men like we used to no more it's and so then, like, weird bro girls are like getting pregnant at a young age what the fuck? Like with Andrew Tate, right? People, because he has he has said some shit before in the past, and yeah, it's like joking around, but it does sound like misogynistic and shit like that. Mm-hmm. And people focus on that. Like, oh, you're just like him. I'm like, that's the thing. You guys focus on something, and that's it. Like on anything. Yeah. Um. And me, it's like I pick and choose what I like, and I take it in, and then I do it to the max. Mm-hmm. You guys accept things for what they are or no what's the right wording for it i don't know they don't understand they don't fully understand it, everything don't. i try to you know so with entertain it's like i love the things that he says because i mean i'm i'm walking the talk that he says you know i'm yeah. working i'm focused i'm trying to do better the same things that he says maybe i won't get to that level that he's at mm. but i'm thinking that way why why what? Why wouldn't you get to the level he's in? I just haven't learned it all the way. I haven't. Maybe I'll get that experience. Maybe I don't. It's I can't predict the future. You know what I mean? But, but you it, have if, time, bro. You're young. Exactly. You, you know. Don't 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 give yourself that but. Give yourself that and. Mm. You know, like mm-hmm. up yourself one. Mm-hmm. Always always boost yourself. 
don't. and maybe it's because I'm not actively pursuing that. Yeah, you know what I mean. So I haven't set my money, my mind towards that money standpoint. Mm-hmm. If I wanted to, like right now, my mind is on creativity. It's on art. It's on podcasting. It's on learning. And I feel like once I get all that down, maybe then I'll go into yes. that whole monetary economy economic standpoint of like, all right. I've done my craft. Now let's get some fucking money off of yes, this shit. Yes, sir. You know, I've learned a lot. Now let's learn something else. Different season. Different yes. chapter. You know? I'm in my creativity, my building phase. After that, it's like, all right, let's put this kingdom to fucking work. Yes, let's experience sir. everything to the max. There's this quote I've, I've read, and it said, A lot of people left when I was tearing down my house, but they didn't know I was creating a mansion yeah exactly bro <laughs> exactly that's such a perfect quote you know like i and i've always like kept that shit around with me because a lot of people do that bro like they didn't believe in me when i mean I was in the literal sense DJ. everything before me is crumbling bro literally everything is getting taken down my kingdom is destroyed you know so now i'm, I'm like all right we were building the foundation to the foundation to the foundation and it's okay because mm. this foundation right here is going to be so strong that whatever I build on top of it is going to be a bitch to take it down. Yep. You know what I mean? And that's how I'm going. I tell my girlfriend all the time, like, baby, this world is yours. Like, we're going to go get it. Yep. It's like that. I, act- I actively think of myself as king, you know? Like, this is my kingdom. I don't may not have, like, the strongest, um, most wealthiest kingdom. But, bitch, I know I can. Yep. You know, and just get ready because we're going to the top. Like Scarface mentality. Scarface mentality, except Chico. no cocaine. Chico, <laughs> the world is yours. Yeah. And everything in it. I need to watch Scarface again. I saw it I once. I love that fucking movie, bro. Tony Montana. Oh, yeah. You want to play? You want to play? <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. You fuck with my money, huh? Motherfucker. Pop, 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 pop. Bro, that movie's so yeah. sick. I love and it. I don't know, like the learning a different standpoint, because there's some kings who, um, I don't know, they have all this power, all this glory. They've done the work and then they just, they don't do anything. Comfortable, like yeah. Future said. And then they just let things slip out of their hands and they fuck up here and they don't care. It's like, nah, it's about and having, again, that humble side of you. Once doing, doing it once in every, in every, every perspective, bro. If you did it once, you'll do it again. If it happened once, it'll happen again. Mm-hmm. You know? But just make sure to fix that problem for it won't happen again. Yeah. Avoid Take, problems in the future. Yeah, yeah, bro. I like that. Because people have problems just sit there. And yeah. Grow and grow and grow and grow. And then when that problem really fucks them up, they're like, oh my god. <laughs> this fucking problem. I'm like, no, nah, I could have fucking told you that. Yeah, bro. You know? And it's harsh conversations that people aren't having where it's like a wake up check. And it's yeah. good to have them. You know, it, sometimes it sounds harsh, it sounds rude, but it's like, well, we can't tell you in like nice and soft way because you're not going to do anything. We told you already, hey, bro, um, you should start doing something because, you know, hey, dude, let's get. To... Now it's more of like, are you going to get up or what? Are you going to stay there? Cool, you're gonna stay there. Yeah, bro. I'll be over here. You can come whenever, whenever you're ready. But I'm not gonna wait for you to be ready. You know what I mean? So some friends, some people that I know are in that stagnant state, and now it's a matter of I've learned who are actively pursuing things that I like, or I can see them doing things that they like, and that's what we resonate on—that mm-hmm. they're actively doing what they like. I like doing what I like. See one with you. Like, I wish we lived in a world where we can, I don't know, like the whole nine to five or like regular work jobs, some of them, some of them are really, really needed for sure. There's nothing against that. But when you think that that's all that there is, and it's about taking that leap of faith and Mm -hmm. same work that you're putting into your nine to five, it's about putting it into you. So like, even if you sat down with yourself on a piece of paper and you're like, all right, DJing, it's gonna go here, it's gonna go here. It's going to do this. It's going to build over here. We're going to do that. And then just 100%. Imagine how good you'll get. How oh, yeah. big you'll get. How fast it'll be. It's all you the know? way you prioritize your own things, bro. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, and you don't even notice it. It's like all of a sudden I'm here, but just doing what I'd like to yeah, do. bro. You know, same with this podcast. I don't know how long it's going to take to do or grow, but I feel like it's going to be before my eyes even see it. You know? Yeah, you see the vision, bro. The mm-hmm. vision will create it. Trust. The vision will create it. Yeah. yeah. Tell me. <laughs> Minecraft. <laughs> bro. <sighs> Create Creativity is like so lacked on. A lot of people don't think they're capable of things that they're just not. They don't think they're capable of doing it because they don't try. Mm-hmm. It's not hard, bro. It's just new. It, like God. Creator. Mm-hmm. Created everything. You. Like, I created coffee today. I created this episode. And if you're creating and actively creating and creating, like, at some point, you can be recognized as a god in your own way. You know? It's cool. Cause I like that. It, once you start thinking of yourself like that, you set more of a standard on yourself. Mm-hmm. Like, I have to be this way to feel like the god in myself. Kanye. This motherfucker always says, I'm a god. You know? He actively pursues that. He believes it. And people see him as crazy. He's like, you're not God. You're not God. I'm, you don't know his mentality, bro. No. This guy's on something that Definitely 98% of the population don't understand. I love how... I know Kanye never sold his soul. Mm-hmm. Most rappers do. And Kanye praises the Lord so much. You mm-hmm. know, like he goes to church. He plays his music. He plays music. He produces. He's a producer, bro. So I think he... he I don't think he's I think he sold his soul but he broke free of that contract. You know what I mean? So how does that po- happen though? It's about being true against yourself to your God. About letting go of everything else it's, that's avoiding you from becoming what you truly are, you know, for what you are. For Kanye, like you saw him going in through that, like they they presented him as fucking crazy. Oh yeah. You know, and then after his mom died, like Dude, that's a big toll on Kanye. You seen the documentary on Netflix? Ha- no, I haven't. Watch it when you go home. Right, Jesus. It's a beautiful documentary. I'm yeah. probably going to watch it again. But, but like, you see the mentality that his mom instilled into him, and that's the perfect mentality, that you can do whatever you want. But you are a god of your own world. Mm-hmm. Just keep creating, keep working, keep being you to the max, and it's going to pay off. And I don't know. People don't even want to be themselves anymore. No. So they go and try to be somebody else. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like if with Andrew Tate, I'm not looking forward to being Andrew Tate. You know? He's not over here doing the same thing I'm doing. I'm not over there doing the same thing he's doing. Maybe I will one day. You know, maybe I'll have a fucking mansion and 13 Bugattis. You know? <laughs> Who knows? Checkerboards on my fucking floor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, the chess master. Chess master. Bro. And it really is... I don't know. I want to learn chess. And I think I've been learning not like how to play chess, but like how you said, a king t- takes one step at a time, mm-hmm. you know? Because if you keep, when you rush, I was in the beginning, the ladder thing. If you make a whole bunch of steps, you're going to get caught. Yep. And it's going to be, you're like, you can get fucked. There's no way around it. You're done. Checkmate. And after Ch- that, it's too late. Chess is just like that, bro. Mm-hmm. If you start moving around, trying to get to the queen mm-hmm. and king. You start losing your characters because you're moving closer. Mm-hmm. When you stay in defense, you take your time, wh- just observe. You're chilling. Mm-hmm. Honestly, you're chilling. All you gotta do is just protect your side. Yeah. Protect what you're doing. Protect your peoples. Protect your kingdom. Protect what you created. Yeah, exactly. And sometimes it's a matter of starting small. Yep. Your circle, your kingdom is as small as possible. Your foundation. What's your first move on the chessboard? You move a small fucking move. Literally. Yeah. You so. move, you make small moves and then you build your way up to where you have to make those big, mm-hmm. sometimes irrational moves and take those huge risks. Take the risks. Yep. And it's about taking the small risk first. So that way when it comes time for those big risks to be taken place, you feel more comfortable in it. You're yeah. like, all right, confidence. Mm-hmm. And with creativity, confidence is so important. Plays a big part. Huge part. Because mm-hmm. then you're not going to do anything. Yep. If Imagine you were like, Doubting yourself every single time you're doing a transition in your music. How shitty would every transition be? It's like, <laughs> all right, I don't know if this is going to work, but fuck it. Let's go. Oh, this is badass. I fucking killed it. You know what I mean? It's yeah, about bro. confidence. 
you never you create. You never know until you try it. Yeah. For real. So try everything. And you miss a hundred percent a hundred percent of the shots you don't take. Don't try everything. I, you guys are gonna take that out of context completely. So I should do cocaine? Huh. No, dumbass. <laughs> oh god, bro. <laughs> well there people people are so quick to think about negative traits, you know. Yeah. Cocaine, like you just said. It's so you already easy. know. Yeah, bro, it's so easy. Everyone can do it. If I wanted to do cocaine, I could do it right now. So easy, but why don't you try going to the gym? Because it's hard. Not everybody can do it. Everybody can do it, bro. Everybody can do it. They just don't want. To. They block it. So crazy. So crazy. How lazy. I get it's, it too. You know, everybody. It's the human part. Yeah. But again, you got to transcend <laughs> from being human to something else. Something La bigger. disciplina. La disciplina. That's the only way. The the consistency comes with the discipline. It's the only way. And patience is key to success. Yeah. If you don't have patience, then your mind's going to fuck with your head. So what are your plans for DJing? Be be big with this shit, bro. I I want to have a platform. I want I want to have fans. I want to have people vibing and dancing and having a fucking great time. And what I love is when I get crowd control. Mm. And like when people are like, I, like I play a fucking song and all you hear is like when the beat drops, everybody's like, oh, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, you hear that? And then like in EDM, there's a chant uh-huh. and it goes, And you do it on a four by four beat and I on my mixes, mm-hmm. on my mixes on the post I posted when I was at the club, you can hear people doing it in the background and they're like, ooh, ooh. And then like once people hear that shit, they're like, What the fuck? And then they do it again and then it gets louder because more people start doing yeah. it. Bro. So it's building. Yeah, if you ever go to a if if you're ever down to come with me and shit to a uh EDM event, like Insomniac event, bro best fucking place ever like mm-hmm. i used to think bad of a bit because people used to explain it to me but in a bad way everybody was like bro they're like so many tweakers there like everyone's just, rolling yeah the bro, but they're big. just yeah. having a good fucking time like you go there to go have a good time yeah you're always going to be taken care of bro like i i remember i think it was countdown me and my lady like we took shrooms and no i took shrooms and I was coming up and I told her, I'm like, hey, babe, like, there's too many people here and it's hot. I'm coming up. She was like, what, you want to go, like, in the middle and shit? And, like, you can come up on the, because they have parts where it's, like, turf uh-huh. and they have mushrooms, like, glowing and shit and, like, oh. trees. Like, it's all tropical, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. it's a whole fucking vibe. And Alice in Wonder, and I think it's Alice in Wonderland. No, no, it's not Alice. It's beyond Wonderland. It's just like out. Al- Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, there's yeah. like trippy. Yeah, bro. Like there's people in costumes and bunny rabbits and then girls dressed as dolls. Like, but they look like fucking real characters, bro. Mm-hmm. Like you just sit there and you're just like, holy shit. And yeah. like at EDC it was so beautiful. But when I was coming up, like like me and my lady, we went to the middle where there was turf and then like mushrooms everywhere. And like I was laying on her lap and like people were coming by and like I can hear him. And they're like, Is he good? Like, are you okay? And then she was like, oh, yeah, he's okay. He's just coming up. And they're like, oh, okay, he don't need a water or anything. Like, they make sure you're good and comfortable, yeah, yeah. bro. That's why I call those events home. Because, like, you feel wanted. That's why, I, like, I'm so passionate about DJing, yeah. bro. Because I, wa- I want people to feel great when they're watching a set. And I've heard, like, rave communities. Like, they're always super, super like, tightly knit. They yeah, take care bro. of each other a lot. They do, bro. And, like, say, like, you're sweating and shit. And, like, I see you sweating. I have a fan. I'm going to fan you. And people fan you, like, randomly. And you're just like, bro, good looks, bro. Fuck it. Like, because you're just, like, sweating. Yeah. And you're just like, fuck, it's so hot in there. And then, like, mm-hmm. people, like, fan you up. People, they they offer you gum, you yeah, know, because yeah. they know you're rolling and shit. So you're just like, hell yeah, like, I'll get another piece of gum, you know. Mm-hmm. And 
it's just it's just so beautiful bro yeah Honestly, people being like, themselves yeah and bro. to carry each other for once yeah like you, you you don't have to fucking fake the funk like you could be you there that's you know? one thing that i learned from the mushrooms like when i was coming down from it like it, for the first time it was like i'm taking things for like what they really are like for this like for example even if something as simple as a mug like holy shit like it's really here or when I saw people when they came from my podcast afterwards, uh-huh. I was like, I remember I was coming down and I was getting my hair cut and everything. And I feel them. I, cause he, uh, my friend was like, you know, touching my hair and shit so he can like cut it. Mm-hmm. And I'm there in my chair, like, just like, there's another person taking care of me right now. This is insane. <laughs> yeah. It was so weird. And like, just me in the chair and, he, and I had longer hair at that time. So it was more like, uh, or no king treatment for real. Yeah, yeah. it's like I was I being that. reborn. It was so cool. I feel but, that. I don't know. It was a lot. It was a lot to understand, even with other people. Like this is another person coming into my house right now. It's it, I don't know breaking it down to the smallest as possible and then building up again. Yeah, you know. Since the other day, it was my friend. I was at my friend Jake's house and I saw his dog come out. I was like. It's so crazy that I wasn't on shrooms or anything, but I just said, I'm like, it's so crazy that there's just a big ass dog there. I'm like, these things came from wolves and now it's here and it's our friend. It's a beast. Like, in all reality, that's a beast. You know? You think it's so? It's an animal. Huh? You think so? Yeah. Honestly, it's. Because people have tigers, companionship. Have... It's, it's all the way you. Their loyalty, your yeah. loyalty to them. Yeah, companionship. With Cartier, bro. I swear, like, I love that motherfucker so much. Or like Cart- the cats, bro. Have you ever been on mushrooms around cats? Mm-mm. It's so weird. They feel it. Bro? I swear to God, they feel it. Same with ca- same with dogs, bro. Because Cartier, me and my sister took um shrooms at my at my mom's house. Mm-hmm. And like I was I was feeling um Cartier's energy, bro, because he kept looking at me, but like he was laying down and he was giving me like puppy eyes and shit, like he wanted it to play. Mm-hmm. And I like I was thinking about it, bro. I'm like, I looked at him and I'm like, and he put his head up, but I thought, mm-hmm. like, do you want to go outside and play? Is and I thought you? about it and I looked at him and I didn't even say a word. And he looked up, the, he looked up at me. Mm-hmm. I can't even speak right now. He looked up at me and he like. He looked up like if he knew what I said. Yeah, he understood. Yeah, bro. I was just like, what the fuck? So yeah. I got up. He ran downstairs, bro. I was just like, bro, in the way. It, yeah, it's a weird thing. When you, I don't know, bro. It's like you look at them. They're like, you're really understanding what I'm saying right now, huh? Yeah, bro. And they just. You know what's crazy? Have, have you ever. No, you don't have a dog. So Cartier. He, every time I used to use the restroom, he would literally wait outside the door, bro. And I always wondered why. And it's because they're taking care of you. Estella was doing that two days ago. Yeah? Right here, yeah. She was meowing. I'm like, what Mm -hmm. the fuck are you meowing about? That's new. She's like, they they like, they take care of you while you go pee. Because if you realize that other dogs do that and you have two dogs together, they go together and one goes pee and the other one looks out. I mean, why do you think... Girls go to the restroom together because they need to take care of each other. I don't know why. it's a, Bro, I was literally thinking about that yesterday. That was crazy, bro. My girl was in the restroom with two other girls. I needed to take a badass shit, bro. And I was just like, bro. Or even these, us. Like, I don't need, I didn't uh, even know it was my girl in there. I'm like, bro, these bitches need to get fuck out, bro. They're <laughs> probably in there fucking like taking pictures and shit. Because that's what they do. Like you see picture mirrors all the time. And mm-hmm. I'm like, bro. Like it just has security. You know? Yeah. And they talk while they pee and shit. I'm like, bro, what? Like, I can't even picture guys doing that shit. You know? Yeah, it's like we'll talk before we pee. <laughs> and then we'll continue the conversation. I'll afterwards. go, I'll be like, hey bro, I'm going to take a piss real quick. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. And even that, like walking your girlfriend to the restroom because she needs to use the restroom. Oh yeah. It's like you wait. Hundred percent. Make sure that you're she's okay. Yeah. I guess you can see the same thing here. Mm-hmm. It's just a matter of yeah, security, companionship, loyalty. Loyalty. Like yeah. I got your back. If anything happens, I'm right here. And with cats, it's weird because you'll be laying down sometimes. Also, Best Buy 
fucking socks. Look at this shit. I wore these the yesterday, and uh, <laughs> uh, we were playing charades, and I fucking schooled these dudes, bro. But in both sides, them? that huh? Hell yeah! No I was way. Like, I'll take the socks. But like, if you're laying down, uh, the cats sometimes still lay by your feet, and that's because they're like protecting, just in case anything comes at you. They're right there in the front lines. Yeah, it's weird. And one time I was upstairs. And I was I was fucking faded or something. And I'm there chilling on Monica's room because they went to go like get food or something. And I'm there, there on the floor and I'm chilling. And it was a new cat at the time. It was Tofu. We had just gotten him. And he comes to me and lays right here with me. That was new. I almost never spent time with Tofu at that time. And then he goes to my feet and lays there. And had just learned that. That they go to your feet, right? To protect you. And I heard a noise. It was the door. It opened. And he heard it too. And he went. And he looked at me. And he goes out. He goes outside of the room to go check what it is. And I'm like, damn. He really he really just went to go scout. What? It's insane. Cats are scary, bro. I'm not. like. Cats have never been domesticated. I see so many cat attacks, you know, and I seen one like last week and this motherfucker literally walked in pitch dark black in this house and the cat didn't recognize who he was mm -hmm. and the cat started scratching that motherfucker, bro, but on his legs and he had shorts. Yeah, they and don't stop sometimes. They'll keep coming at you. Oh, bro, imagine them claws digging in your fucking skin. It's no, bro. Oh, hell no. Terrible. And then biting on top of that? Oh, hell no. Nah. Mm -mm. I'd mm -mm. rather just avoid it as a whole. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, all right, you can you can fight your shadow, bro, because you're not fighting me right now. Yeah. Cats and dogs are very, very different, but like, I don't know how people can say, like, oh, I'm a cat. Oh, no, I can't see that. It's just a matter of understanding different animals. Like, yeah. dogs, they'll be with you through everything but cats it's, it's more like a uh, bitch i ain't your pet feed oh, me oh god oh god feed me like, feed you know me, you have to feed me oh god you know or i'm gonna take a shit on your couch i'm Don't gonna scratch your wall yeah like they really have like a a heightened person like almost all dogs are like this there's some cases where they're just fucking violent and shit but most dogs are like that they're fucking man's best friend you know what i mean yeah but, and Cats, like all of them, are so different. Like Stella, so much different from uh, Taz oh. and Tofu completely. Tofu, sure. you can do whatever the hell you want with them. Taz, he can be an asshole sometimes. And Estella, she's a little. I think of her like a little girl, you know, like she's just there minding her own business. But these fuckers fuck with her. Yeah, I feel that, bro. Cause remember when we had Bella, the husky? Yeah. Um, she was completely different from Cartier. Mm -hmm. Bella used to how. She used mm -hmm. to go like, oh, and then like she used to talk to my fucking mom. Yeah. My I mom would be like, love. yeah, my mom would be like, Bella, I love you. And that bitch would say it back. She'd mm -hmm. be like, oh, roo, roo. I'm like, bitch, what the fuck you just tell my mom? Like, yeah. I, and cats is like understanding. I think that's what it is. Dogs understand us, but we have to understand cats. Yeah. That's yeah. why I say cats have never been domesticated. I mean, they were praised in Egypt. Kings would get buried yeah, with their bro. fucking cat. Like, how crazy to guide them into the afterlife, you know? Or even with the Mexican culture. Have you seen Coco? I have not. There's a dog there. It's a bald dog. I forgot how to pronounce their names. But there's some... Um, it's a, like a bald black dog. Almost like Anubis. Think about it like that. That when you die, it leads you into the afterlife. If that's your dog. Aztec, I guess, warriors had that. Yeah, it's cool. And it, sends, it gives you that sense of companionship, again, uh -huh. leading you all the way through, making sure you're taken care of. And that's the best way to treat people. Damn. Companionship. That's crazy. Make sure that you're okay. It's like, uh, I can go back to that quote again. Um, take care of you for me, and I'll take care of me for you. So that way, when the time comes of you needing to, you needing to take care of me, like you're good and you're ready to take care of me. Mm -hmm. Same thing with, I guess, animals. Like, I'll feed you. Don't fucking bite me, bitch. <laughs> and if it comes down to it, like, you're there on my side. And dogs, man's best friend. Like, the dog will die for you, you know? Let's like, you've seen yeah, it. Yeah, bro. You don't see cats in the military? Cartier, Cartier will fuck anybody up if I'm getting fucked up. Yeah. If we're, if we're both at a park and he's getting walked yeah. and some guy tries to rob me, that fool knows. He'll be like, what the fuck are you pressing my boy? Uh-huh. 
all right, all right. You start biting that, bro, bro. But like spirituality experience between the two, even that, you know, like, yeah, the, we're both animals, but animals know else. what they're doing, bro. Like, I, I used to go to my girl's house when we first started dating and shit. <laughs> and like, I used to drive her car into when the gate opens, her dogs run to her car and they start jumping around. And like, my girl used to be like, she used to drive her car in and she wouldn't be able to go fully in because she thinks the dogs were right there and they were and it came to a point where i started driving in and i used to drive in all fast and shit and like they used to move they move the dogs move when they see the car yeah they you know, they're not trying to get fucking ran over you know and i told my girl i'm like she's like babe babe babe, babe. no 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 like you're gonna get hit him and i'm like these fucking dogs know what the fuck they're doing. If they, they get gonna... hit by my car, it's because they're dumb. <laughs> like, they ask for it. That's what I'm this? saying. Oh, God. Like, bitch, this isn't food. It's a fucking vehicle. Move, bitch. They it's be bigger. sniffing like that shit. Like, if we went to another dog's house, I'm like, bitch, get the fuck off my tire. Like, they be pissing on that shit. I'm like, you fucking whore. Remember Steven's <laughs> uh, car? They got it from one of their friends or something. And they had pipples. So they would bite and sharpen their teeth with the fender of the car. So it had bite marks all over the pipples. Bro, sharpening all of their fangs. my girl, my girl's dogs are pit bulls, and the Strong dog. F- first month, bro, yeah. of having her car, they they lay next to the car to get the shade. Tell me why this bitch bit her fucking her. It's like a little a lip on her bumper. Uh huh. She bit the the corner of the lip, literally, and my girl was just like. Babe, like, you fucking hit something. Like, you took my car. And she was blaming it on me. I'm like, bro, I'm not fucking tripping right now. I yeah. never hit nothing. Because, like, I even take care of my own car, bro. Like, when I when I go out of dips, mm-hmm. it's just a habit. I go sideways, yeah, yeah, so I won't scrape or nothing. And I was just like, bro, I fucking be dodging potholes and shit, taking care of this yeah. motherfucking car. There's no way There's I no fucking way. hit this shit. So when I get out... I, like, started, like, feeling it. And if it was an accident, like, you'll remember, oh, yeah, yeah bro, it was that part. For real. So I start feeling under the bumper. There's no scrapes. And I'm like, bro, this bumper's new as fuck. Yeah. There's no scrapes underneath. Like, I look under and there's no, like, yeah, it's fine. white. White, because the car's white. So it was all painted white. I'm like, bro, I, I didn't hear anything. So I start feeling the, the bite marks. Uh-huh. And I'm like. The puncture holes? I see the holes, bro. And I'm like, this fucking dog bro <laughs> and my girl was already trying to t- take me to the body shop and have her pay have me pay for it and i was just like bro like i know i didn't hit your guy no i didn't yeah. crash your car bro you're tripping so when i got out i checked and i see that shit and i tell my girl i'm like babe come here look at that shit feel it and she was like what and i'm like your fucking dog bit your fucking lip, bro. And she's like, there's no way. I'm like, look at the holes, bro. There's like at least a hundred holes yeah. on that fucking lip. <laughs> like that bitch was hungry. Took her time. <laughs> bro, it took her time like, with no eating mama. that shit. Yeah, bro. She was like literally creating a picture with all bite marks on shit. <laughs> a fucking blind person would be like, ah. Oh, literally like, like <laughs> bro, you know what's crazy? Um, I tell her, I told my suegro, her dad, and I was just like, so it'll come, looks, and he feels it. He's like, pinches perros, no mames. I'm like, bro, I, I told my girl too. Yeah. I'm like, bro, I not, I know I didn't hit your fucking car. And she was already telling her whole family and shit. I'm like, bro, I didn't. It was hit Sergio. It. Sergio. It was Sergio. His ass. Yeah, <laughs> bro. I was like, no mames. Honestly, like, I was but like, I was thinking the same thing as my suegro, and we're like, we're taking this fucking dog to the perros, bro, because. <laughs> I was every, gonna say, I'm like, you just look at the dog from now and like, yeah, bitch. Bro. And she knew, bro. And every Amazon package, they order a lot of shit from Amazon. Her mm-hmm. and her sisters, her family. An Amazon and addiction? Literally, bro. A shopping spree. And yeah. the package never comes because the dog gets to it before they do, bro. That shit's demolished. Do not leave it by the dog. You see? Yeah, bro. I tell her, I'm like, you can put on the description, on like, Notes. you can leave a little note. Yeah. Delivery instructions. Yeah, bro. And... She's like, oh, I just don't want to get it stolen if it's outside the property. If you get stolen, it's stolen. Yeah. You Better get than another your one. fucking dog. But it's going to destroy it. <laughs> Bro, what are you going to send a picture to fucking Amazon and be like, hey, you threw the package to my dog and they ate it. What the fuck? Like, here's half of the book I ordered. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the other half? Inside them. Huh. Yeah. But I don't know. It's kind of scary because say like you order like 
she orders like makeup or something. And they uh, eat she don't it. order it makeup like toxic? on Amazon, but like she orders like some type of chemical. Yeah. I, I saw on TikTok that if you put DW40 around your windows, it keeps the bugs away. Really? Flies, bugs, everything. Have you seen that when you put like a, a Ziploc bag with water and you hang it up, it keeps the flies away apparently? Oh, yeah. How does that work? I don't know. Do you believe in brujería? Yeah. You think so? Yeah. I believe. I think I believe in it too. I, I haven't I, experienced it myself, but I've heard I have heard some fucking stories. I have. Ooh, what it's happened? Crazy. Hold on, let me take a piss. Let me stay, let me stay All, right, all right. right, back. That was that was a very long pee. It was the coffee. Bro, I was like, shit. damn, how much do I got in me? <laughs> I got a lot. <laughs> brujeria. That's what we're talking about. Oh yeah. You have had experiences of brujeria before, bro? I, I've heard um. Stories from close ones. Yeah, me too. And I was in the middle of everything type shit. You know, like my mom, uh huh. She went through some shit with my with my auntie. And they had history back then and shit. Not that type of history, but like drama history. Yeah. yeah. And my mom recognized that she was doing it because she was getting palm readings. And the lady was telling her, like, it, it's a close one. Like, it has to be, like, a person you really know and you've known in the past. And she's, she knows things from you. And she knows a lot from you. And the way she was describing it, like, my mom, like, the way she was describing it, it was just scary, bro. And, like. Like, it can't, this can't be real. It is, bro. And, you know what I mean? And, it was hard to believe, is what I'm yeah, trying to say. Yeah. And. Um, when it happened, it's, it happened at, at our house and we're eating lunch, me, my stepdad and my mom. Mm -hmm. And I had finished playing video games and I go over to the dinner table mm -hmm. and I tell my mom that my aunt got robbed, right? Cause mm -hmm. the day before I told her this, my aunt got robbed. She got all her money took in, all her papers took in documents and forms and shit my cousin he got his playstation robbed he got his yeah bro he got what? everything finesse too bro yeah and um then i told my mom and my stepdad loki when i told my mom my stepdad loki like like bumped her shoulder bro and he was she he was like that's it it's her it's her and my mom was like what do you mean like, Ser Sergio just told you, like, someone close got robbed. And the lady that the palm reading, um, she was saying something bad is going to happen in your circle mm -hmm. around you of your loved ones. That information is going to come to you. Whoever that bad experience, whoever went through it, that's the person that they put on you. When I told my mom, was my mom like completely blank the fuck out, and she didn't believe it, bro. She didn't believe it, and and like, she didn't tell me until like six months later, and because like she, she, I was young still, and she thought I was gonna go to my tia, and I told her, I'm like, mom, like everything that stays between me and you stays between me and you. You know, I got love for you, and I'm always gonna pick you. Yeah. And she started telling me more information after I told her that, bro, and it like. It just completely switched my mind and I love my mom because she told me she she told me not to hate my tia for it. And I respect that. You know, yeah. and like it didn't Don't put hold me in a position in your heart. Yeah, yeah. You know, and it didn't put me in a position to choose sides and I love them both and yeah, that shit happened in the past, but that shit's true, bro. It's real. You think so? Yeah, bro. My mom went through hell, nigga. Like like our hell. uncle? You heard that story? No. Yeah. I, I I have to talk to him about it again just to, like, reconfirm. But I heard that our, that our uncle, he was asleep and he, like, sleep paralysis or some shit. And he saw two old dudes, like, coming towards him and they started fucking suffocating his ass, bro. Like, that's some scary shit. What? Like, and that they came into the room afterwards. One of my other deals, one of our other deals came into the room and there was nothing in there. There was nobody... But that he had that, and they're apparently either this is, and then there's another story that I forgot who it was, but they had a breakup with an ex. The ex was like 
going fucking crazy. We're not losing it. Mm. And her, the tia of the eggs was a bruja. And she put like a, what is it called? Like a hex or something mm-hmm. on him. A whole bunch of shit started happening. I can't Bro. really forget. I forgot what, but I'm telling you, like, it was a whole bunch of bad stuff. And he was noticing, like, what the fuck is going on? So he went and he was talking to somebody. I guess they were bruja too. They're like, oh, that's not seen the bruja yet. <laughs> Yeah, but that's literally what it is. What happened? Uh, Let me see. Tell me what happened. I don't know. I broke up with my girlfriend. And later on, he finds out that her aunt is a bruja. You know? In order to fix that hex or some shit, he needed to take a bath in pig's blood or something. <laughs> it's hard to believe. Like you, I don't know, bro. When I hear stories like that, I'm like, what? There's no way. Pig, I believe it. Because I feel like goats have to do a lot with the devil and owls. Yeah, lechuzas. Yeah. It's another word for bruja. That brujas turn into fucking owls. Literally, bro. That shit. Like, or when you hear, whoo, whoo, the owls, that there's something out there. They're calling it out. You brujas? Know? Owls. Like, there's owls an owl are... here and we hear it sometimes. Whoo, whoo. Calling what out, though? I don't know. They send something. That's what they say, like, going into, like, the whole bruja realm, spirituality realm. Like, or in paintings, bro. There's just one artist. His name is Euronymous Bosch, right? He uh-huh. was, I, I don't know if he was an apprentice, but he was around the same time area. And he was learning a lot from Leonardo da Vinci. Now, the thing with um, Euronymous Bosch was that he was having hallucinations, terrors, bro. And people think that it was from mushrooms. People do think that it was from mushrooms. But that instead of seeing, like, what we would see, he was experiencing demons. Like, it got to the point where this man started losing his mind. Like, he was experiencing demons in these hallucinations. And because he's an artist, you know, uh. learning under one of the greatest minds of all time, Leonardo da Vinci, you know, he started painting these things, bro. And the shit that he would see, it makes so much sense. There's this one painting, I brought it up before. It's called The, the Garden of Earthly Delights. You know, and it shows the creation of humanity, uh, Adam and Eve, God bre- presenting uh, Eve to Adam, you know, all that mm-hmm. shit. And then it goes into like this euph- or euphoria, like uh, it's perfect. Everything seems so perfect. But you look into the picture and there's people sleeping with each other, a whole bunch of lust, sin everywhere. But they're descri- they're distracted from it, that it's uh, they're enjoying and they're indulging. They love it. There's a woman looking at herself in the mirror, just stuff of like, I don't know. She's stuck in that trance of never being in acceptance, I guess, with herself. You see owls everywhere. And afterwards, they explained that the owls represented the devil, you know, demons. And they're just there watching everything happen as an innocent creature, but they're just looking at everything. And it, it goes from, it's three things, right? So it opens like a book. It's like a middle and it goes on the outsides. So it's the beginning, the Adam and Eve, the beautiful stuff that people are getting distracted by, all the lust, all the greed. There's a man with a pouch, you know, shit like that. And then it goes into the next one, and it's just hell. Like, there's demons grabbing humans, stabbing them, torturing them, feeding them to this thing. Like, it's terrifying. I'll send you a link so you can watch it later. It's yeah, very interesting. It's fucking crazy. But Damn. he's seeing something that and you implement that into now, and it's the same thing. Everyone's distracted, and now we're leading into this fucking next chapter of the painting, and you don't want to be there. I forget who said it. I think it was, I think it was Albert Einstein. Okay. He said World War Three is gonna be nothing but sticks and stones. Yeah, I do not, I do not know which wo- which weapons will be used in World War Three. But I do know that World War Four will be fought with sticks and stones. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Just imagine how much power people and have. It's all because of the power we have now, bro. Technology. Like And it's not even that. Like nuclear people can make power. it into the Yeah. Nuclear yeah, you can think about it like that. But even something as simple as distracting everyone, giving them what they want, right? We have I don't know. There's a whole bunch of things that we can do. Even, no offense, like pride. Distraction right there. Oh, yeah. You know, everyone feel this way. 
we had Corona where everyone was just slowly losing their train of thought and TikTok, whatever comes in, just what stays in here. You're in, you're getting nothing else, no other minds, but whatever they want to show you. So your mind is weak. Everyone's mind is super weak. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's some of us that are actively wanting to learn to and pursue. You know, that's may make like a difference between us and the people who are just, you know, in that limbo Stuck state. Stuck on one slot. Yeah. So those weakened minds, I mean, it's a, there's a lot of them, in, you know? You can only save yourself, you know? Yeah. You can go around, give a little piece of advice. Yeah. You know, like, just always remain positive. Put yourself mm -hmm. out there. But you can never... You can, you can give somebody a plate, mm -hmm. but you're not going to feed them. He got to feed himself. You know? Yeah. Here's a plate. But yeah, go get some food. You feel me? Like, ah, interesting. You can show them how to eat. Or know, fish. You follow your steps. But I'm not going to go and sit there and, Avionita. <laughs> you feel me? Like, I learned that shit the hard way. But yeah. I'm always grateful for the things I learned because it only makes me stronger. Yeah. You know, like, I never stay stuck on one slot. I always try to, like, any weakness, any sadness, I try to overcome it. Because I don't want to feel that way, mm -hmm. you know, and it's all a mind game. If you put yourself around people that are joyful, energetic, motivated, hungry, passionate, passionate, like all those positive things, then you're, you're only going to get positive outcomes. Yeah, because those, you'll experience those sad moments, those lonely moments, but you'll see them in a different perspective. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. For sure. It, it's always going to be there. Them. It's always going to be there, but you just shrink it less and less and less and less and less. It's about understanding it more. Yeah. Why am I feeling sad? Why do I feel demotivated? What can I do to, to fix it? To lose myself. Not lose yourself, but find yourself. It really is. You have to lose yourself to find yourself. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. You know? So. Like, uh, I can say, like, when the other day, it was a while back ago. I had It was before I had to take down my studio. They told us that we were going to lose the house. They told us that I had to take my studio down. And I was just, and I was still at work. I had to work all fucking day that entire week. I was like, fuck, dude. Like, I got frustrated. Yeah. Enraged. Outraged. You know? And I unleashed it, bro. I have that spear behind you. Smack that shit on the floor. Because I just, every little thing was ticking me off, bro. There was a cricket in my room. And it would not shut <laughs> up. It was so loud. <laughs> creak, creak, creak. And I'm like, where is this fuck? This motherfucker is there three nights in a row behind my fridge. It wouldn't move from that spot. It was oh, yeah. behind my fucking fridge, bro. And I'm pissed, bro. I'm I'm just like, I wouldn't say I'm pissed. I'm just frustrated because I'm I can't do anything. I'm like, fuck. It's nighttime for him every day right now. That shit dark as fuck. Yeah. No. <laughs> just wait. <laughs> And I'm like, fuck, bro. I, like, I can't do anything. And even this fucking crick is making fun of me. Like, I'm pissed off now. I can't take it. I'm done, dude. So I unleash it, bro. Like, I spilled rage. I never do that. I really don't. I, I try to keep a peace of mind. And I spilled rage in that moment. And it felt terrible doing it. Like, I don't like that I'm acting violent yeah. when I don't have to be. I'm acting like an animal, you know? I'm not thinking straight. I fucking... And, and at that time, I'm hearing this cricket. I'm like, I'm done. I'm fucking done. I get up and I'm trying to move the fridge. And I couldn't really move it. And I got so mad that I couldn't move it. That I was like, fuck this. And I grabbed this fridge, dude. Moved it like nothing. Like nothing. Just, and I see the cricket. <laughs> bitch. Move the fridge back. And I'm like, I'm done with today. May tomorrow be a better day. Fuck all of this, bro. Said, fuck that cricket. That fuck, no, play. dude. I literally flipped that cricket off. I was like, fuck you. You <laughs> so annoyed by that cricket, man. And I killed it. And I slept and I processed everything that I had gone through. I was like, that was so terrible to go through it. Like, I don't like feeling that at all. But I know that sometimes uh, if they were to come again, I would know how to handle it differently. Mm -hmm. Maybe I wouldn't. But I can come back to the situation and be like, I appreciated feeling, you know, that feeling that I had. Because look at me now, you know, I had to let all of that shit out, all that frustration out, you know, I can't do anything. So it what all, can I do? It all builds up. Yeah. 
And you had to let it go. Fresh start. And look at me now. I'm chilling, bro. I'm enjoying this a lot. Oh, yeah. You know? It kind of set me straight. Like, yeah, motherfucker. Uh, you're, you're losing everything. Are you going to lose yourself now? That's one thing. I can't lose myself. It's all about the comeback. Mm-hmm. You better lose yourself in the music the moment you want it. You better never let it go, go. Exactly. It's it's about losing yourself in the things that really passionate yep. you. And for you, DJ, for me, it's podcasting. For me, it's learning, you know. People don't live with passion anymore. You should be uh, a vlogger. A vlogger? Remember I, I used definitely to vlog? watch your vlogs. Remember I used to I, vlog? Yeah. That was fun. I... I I low key want to become a vlogger, bro, because I use my twenty four hours so pers- like. I I use my twenty four hours every day. It's so crazy that you bring that up. I was hanging with my sister, and I was like, I think we're coming back from the store. I was like, I wish there was a camera with me at all times. Like it's just it's different from me recording myself because I'm trying to perform for the camera. But if I'm just doing me, and there's somebody following me with a camera, it's gonna give that different sense of my life that I can get to look back to and like wow I was doing that that day look at me grow you know and it's interesting it's interesting bro because I I go to work mm-hmm. and then I go home and I DJ and I can record all that you know like I can show people document yourself yeah. literally bro like and I can show people, people new things interested. at work yeah I can show people new things at my house at you're DJ. Showing, you're teaching things that you're learning. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and like, it's all, they're observing what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. And I'm being productive, so it only opens doors for them to, they already, they already like, get a sample of it. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, instead of like, thinking like, I want to become a DJ, I wonder what it's like, this and that. They can watch my life and like, yeah. be like, oh shit, that shit looks so fun. And they get motivated. You know? That's what I liked about YouTube at the beginning because I saw these people doing things that I like doing. Yep. You know? And there was some other, like even vlogging, for example. Oh, yeah. There's an art of vlogging. 100%. But now there's people who just, just they, they vlog, yeah. But they, they force don't, it. Yeah, it's not real. It's not, not real, yeah. It's not you, like, bro. They're trying to fake the funk, fake their lives, going to like rich spots and then they go back home to the bullshit. You know, I don't want to do that. I don't either. I want, I don't know. Like I, I'll even vlog my fucking crib, bro. Like I'm not even fucking like, scared or fucking what's that word ashamed of how i live you yeah know? i'm not ashamed of what i drive I, like i'm grateful yeah i at have, least I a, have a car exactly i can't i get to go to a and b mm-hmm. i have a beamer at home and not even a and b like you can go anywhere with the car literally bro. you have that luxury that freedom you don't, i want to go yeah. visit my mom in vegas i'm gonna go yeah people take it for granted literally time. bro and like I learned uh, to change my vocabulary from uh, I have to go to work. And now I say, let's fucking go. I get to go to work today. Because mm-hmm. not a lot of people get the jo- the opportunity to get a job. Yeah. The opportunity to put in the work. The opportunity to build themselves. Yeah. You know? Well, and My friend, she just posted about this on, I think it was Amber. She posted on her story. And it was this lady. It was like a reel. And the lady was in forgot middle east somewhere Uh she's like here this video is illegal this song is illegal this book is illegal we can't do this girls cannot go outside and experience the world without like uh you know wearing this and i get that that even that part may be towards their culture and that's something that they would have to change to religion yeah even or religion you know something that they would either it's it's a personal thing but those little things like the the luxuries the liberties to just even speak or watch a video, people take it for granted. Yeah. And it sucks. That's why it kind of gets you in, a, or at least me, it gets me in a way aggravated because it's like, you don't even know what you can do, but you're choosing to sit there not do anything. Yep. Like, I don't know how you're not mad at yourself. How you're okay with just being, I don't know, idle. I guess. Nah, bro. I'm on sport mode every day. Like, you know how people say like, the world doesn't revolve around you. <laughs> Put your ego to the side. Like, like who are you to tell me that? You know, like, like the world doesn't revolve around me. I know, cause I I know what revolves around me. And that's my world, not this. Yeah, bro. They they live in a world where they create it, and they they don't create it the right way. Like everybody 
should think of this world as their own. Yeah. You know, when it comes down to littering, when it comes down to like just little the little things, Do you know? Your part. Yeah, bro. Like this is our planet. Mm-hmm. Take care you, of you it, want, bitch. Yeah, you got a future ahead. You got a family yeah. coming through. You know, you, I'm. I might have a kid. You might have a kid. You know, like we have to take care of our peoples. Yeah, because we can die tomorrow, and you just litter tomorrow. Now this this world's take even care of worse. People, right? You said, yeah, bro. Literally, they made it normal to not even take care of your family anymore, mm-hmm. bro. Like, talking, pe- like people like talk on social media saying like. They think they're all cool and shit, saying, like, you think I care about losing your relationship when my family has turned their back on me? Like, no, bro, that's not the mentality to have. Mm -hmm. Be the change in your family, mm -hmm. you know? Like, now you're in charge of your your last name. That's what I'm saying. My mom and my dad, they built me. They started Mm -hmm. me up. They taught me these things that I can take with my life. But now it's me building me all the way through. They did their part now with you. A lot of people lack in showing up for themselves. Yeah. And I, I used to do that shit, bro. And it's crazy because, like Andrew Chase says, bro, you're stuck in the Matrix. That's what yeah. being stuck in the Matrix is. Yeah. You know, you don't know what you're going to do with your life. You don't think ahead. You're just 9 to 5, same shit, different smell. You Settled. don't care. Yeah, like you're not. You have to open up. What I want to do, bro, is I, I, I want to, like, save up. A couple bucks and buy a vending machine. Okay. Just have some like passive income? Yeah. You know, like Mm -hmm. say I don't have work tomorrow. I'm having money coming in from that vending machine still. Mm -hmm. So no days off. You know, and I also want to do, I don't know if I want to do drop shipping or not. Like I've I've heard so much shit about it. Focus on your passion and then learn how to make money from there. Because you're going to put, like you're going to think about a whole bunch of different ways to make money. But... I don't know if you just focus like for this podcast. I've thought of different ways. I can do merch. I can do sponsorships. I can do um, Spotify plays. I can do YouTube. YouTube pays. You oh, know yeah. if it grows that well. But I know that if I just think about getting the money, because I know I'm not gonna get it in the beginning. I'm gonna get frustrated. So right now I'm learning to fully enjoy this. I get you to the max. It's, but it's different but, because, you know, you do need money in this world. Yeah. You can't do anything without money it, in this world. It's expensive, bro. You're in California. It's, you know, the value of a dollar? Mm-hmm. It's not even a fucking dollar. Not in some parts of the world. In the oil trade, bro. They're not using the, they're not implementing the U.S. dollar anymore. Nah, bro. That's crazy. That's Literally. why our economy is all fucking. Look where, look where Dubai is looking at. Yeah. Russia, China. They, they, where money's at, they're at. Yeah. They're not half-stepping around it. Mm -hmm. They're not going to be like, oh, like, yeah, we'll negotiate with the United States. No, they're going to go to whoever has money, bro. Money Mm -hmm. talks. Money rules everything around us. Speaks the loudest. Literally. That's so sad. Literally, bro. And talk talk is cheap. You got to show action. And I don't know, bro. Like, there's so much to life where people just don't move. They limit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Shoot, for, aim for the stars, bro. Again, I I probably said this in the past four podcast episodes. What's so wrong with being the best? That's what I'm saying, bro. I'm thinking you're the best. It, it, and I get humble, humble tality has to be a big part of it, but it's okay to have that mindset. Yeah. You know? How do you think other DJs made it? Because mm-hmm. they had that mindset. Unstoppable. They're hungry. So look, they're they're always alone DJing. Or back to back with another DJ, but they have their VAP section in the back, and those are the people that, like the quote I said, knock down the house to build the mansion. Mm-hmm. Those yeah. are the people that deserve to be in the mansion. That mansion, for me, is that stage. You know, yeah, the people that always belong. supported from the bottom, mm-hmm. right before I even started producing, bro. Because I know, I know, I'm gonna make it. Yeah, you know, it's all about the mentality, bro. If you tell yourself you're not gonna make it, you're not gonna make it. Yeah, you're already doubting yourself. Literally, like yeah. you're not gonna move if you and tell same yourself. Same thing with the people around you. It, it might suck having to let some of them go, but yeah. bro, they're fucking doubting you. They're yeah. saying that what you're thinking is wrong and that it'll never come true. Mm-hmm. You know how passionate you are about that. But I, I love my haters. Yeah, I swear. Like, 
when it comes down to hate, I recognize it and it it only shows me I'm doing something good. Really? You know, because they're putting their energy towards me, mm -hmm. whether it's hate, whether it's love, whether it's support. The energy is being there. They're giving me their attention. I uh -huh. got their attention. I see it differently with hate comments and stuff like that. Um, if you think about it, bro, it's all the way you, you let it get to you. Yeah. Cause or if you let it get to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I see hate I, comments and I see them like, you guys are freaking weird. Yeah. They, they see you doing good and they want to bring you down because they know they're not capable of doing what you're doing. Yeah. Come back to reality. Yeah, bro. Yeah. You know? I know. This is my reality. Yeah. You stay in the world's reality. It sucks. Like, yeah. People put their pride in for them themselves to not feel small. Yeah. You know, and like, I'm like, bro, like my first gig, people didn't post me. People didn't like, um, like have me on their stories or anything, but I didn't take it personal. You know, mm -hmm. I didn't take it personal. So. Yeah, like, I was at the same like, time, it's about not expecting them to. Yeah, bro. The, you, one thing is never do it for social media. Never do it for the money. Do it for because the moment. Yeah, for you. Literally, to experience bro. that. Yeah. Dude. Yeah, everything else will come. That's what I'm saying. It's a, mo it's a matter everything of staying time. patience. Yeah. Everybody has their sh time to shine. You'll get your spotlight soon. Mm -hmm. I'll get my spot last soon. Why? Because we're putting in that fucking work. Yeah, and you and know we believe on ourselves. Yeah, if you don't believe in yourself, it. what's the point? Exactly. You don't just stop trying. Mm -mm. You know, you have to believe in your own creation to the max. You live with yourself every day, and you wake up with yourself. Make sure you have that right mindset, bro. Mm -hmm. You know, I always tell myself that, and I'm always like, okay, when I hear that alarm go up, I stand up. Mm -hmm. once it once it goes off i stand up and then i grab my phone and turn it off oh so you stand up all the way yeah like how they say that you should have your phone like yeah far you away have to get your ass up to get your ass up yeah because yeah. i know that i could just go like that yeah and then look at the time and you're like 10 more minutes i'll get there i'll just speed no nah, why are you putting your life at stake i used to do that bro all the time and if you were to go to work for somebody your ass would be up. Oh, I have to go to work. Literally. You could show up for somebody else that's not going to benefit you at mm -hmm. all. Or they'll benefit you, but there's a limit to that benefit. You know? You're going to show up for someone else, but you won't show up for yourself. Every you know? day. You know what I mean? Yeah, bro. Same with this podcast. Like you said, 9 a.m. Mm, that's early. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah, bro. Early, early bird gets the worm. Because if I know that if my job were to tell me, hey, you need to come in at 9 o'clock, my ass would be up. Yesterday, I had to go to work at 8 in, in the morning. And I'm like, yeah, it's early, but I'm here. Why can't I show up to this? And it's all about discipline. Because mm -hmm. I I was going to text you. Mm -hmm. And I woke up and it was already 8.15. And I was, bro, I was shroomed out last night. I was fucking like getting home at 2 o'clock in the morning. I was just like, fuck, I have this podcast tomorrow. And I'm, I don't want to drive. Bro, tell me why. I left my car at the homie's house. Mm -hmm. So I drove my girl's car, my my girl's car to her house, slept at her house, woke up, I went outside. I'm like, bro, my fucking car's not even here. And I went inside and I texted you. I was about to text you and be like, bro, I low key can't make it because I wasn't trying to Uber back. Uh -huh. But you know what? I was just like, you know what? I can't, I can't, I can't let him down, you know? Like, yeah. We already set this up, like set this up, made this a plan. I had to be disciplined and keep my word. Mm -hmm. So, my ass ordered an Uber, and then meanwhile I showered. I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna shower. I'm gonna get ready, and I'm gonna feel great. And I did that 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 water routine that mm -hmm. I was telling you. Put it on my forehead, put it on my chest. Woke yeah. me the fuck up, bro. And yeah, I was your like, body, your body starting going. to yeah, heat bro. up. So you get so all then, that energy. Yep. Got out the shower. Uber was two minutes down the street. Got in the whip. Got to my whip. Drove here. Boom. Now we're, we're here, making bro. it happen. You know. And how has this podcast been? Amazing. Amazing. You're just, are you like? Do you truly mean that, or are you just saying it? No, I'm, I, I'm. This is the first. Uh, yeah, it's like a first podcast that I've 
ever had and experienced. You know? It's a like, weird start, huh? Yeah. The beginning. But I love it because it, 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 like, you're interested in what I'm doing in my life. You know, you yeah, don't yeah. just throw random people in here. Mm -hmm. It, I'm doing something good and it makes me feel great about myself, you know? And yeah. I'm glad that you brought me here and... And I like talking talk, about... Because you know? I'm telling you, the guests that come on here sometimes, they don't, they've never had this conversation. They don't get to have it because it's, again, yeah, bro. just normal conversation with people. And it's like man to man speaking about what's going on in our lives. We're living in the same world. Mm -hmm. We have the same 24 hours. I don't know if it was you that you posted the... Mo you posted a movie on your story... It's time. Mm -hmm. Oh, have yeah, time yeah. On. Bro, I watched that movie like two, a year ago. Bro, insane. Absolutely insane, insane. bro. Like, yeah. And time is money. Yeah, bro. So, For real. You know what I mean? The, 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 time. the artificial money will come if you put in the time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. so that's what I'm expecting here. Yeah, I'll, I may or may not get the money because I can't predict the future. But I know I'm putting in a lot of fucking time in this. So anything that comes, it'll make sense. Yeah. You know, I've made it make sense. I've understood it to the max. And you're putting in the work, bro. Mm -hmm. That's all that matters. If you were here chilling, not recording, not podcasting, but you have all the equipment. Mm -hmm. like, look, you put in all the fucking work to have that camera, that camera, that camera, these lights, these mics, these wires, these cords, headphones, like everything, bro. You put in the work. Mm -hmm. So you believe in yourself. And with the, with the podcast, like, oh, okay, now I have to, now I have to talk. Um, what do I talk about? You know what I'm saying? It was yeah, like, bro, like, I I thought I was going to be like that, but I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to be me. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not going to fucking try to be no one else. Yeah, I'm people. Just, just be, be yourself. You yeah, know? that's what I'm saying. These conversations that people don't have with themselves. I try to do it. I, one thing that I've been noticing, it feels like a mirror sometimes. Yeah. Because sometimes I'll be speaking to you, but it's like if I'm speaking to me, and I notice that my guests will speak to me, but it's like they're speaking to themselves. Yeah. And I feel like that's. I feel that. That's the best type of conversation because it means you're fully understanding it. Yeah, bro. We're on the same track, same mindset, same coordinates, same wavelength. Yeah. Yep. Same energy. You know. Same and this B is the type of people you should be around. Same BPM. Same BPM. <laughs> be matching right now yeah we're at 210 no way yeah it's been two hours Sheesh. and 10 minutes fucking crazy huh that's two time for the one time baby mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you already you said you know yeah. all the bpm huh yeah that's bro. Asked you. and there's still much to learn yeah I'm, so keep like, learning you know oh yeah hell yeah bro and all I, all you really do is just really invest in yourself I'm going to invest in myself. I'm going to get my, my just everything, bro. I'm going to get a piano pad, piano pad, a beat pad. um, Tools. Like my, yeah. Literally instruments. My yeah. instruments. Instruments. Yeah. Yeah, bro. So once I have all that, like my own little studio like this, mm -hmm. this motivates you because you have everything set up. You mm -hmm. have everything you can think of. Lighting. Perfect. Air, and having like, that thought of having a next guest oh they're coming on yeah bro. it kind of motivates me to do it even more oh yeah bro. and also it's like i'm gonna learn a lot oh yeah 100 socrates he says then, that the best way to become a philosopher basically understand your life how we would make it understand is by speaking to people you know okay. find the beauty in conversating because you're about to experience something that not like there's probably some things that you've told me that no one has experienced because you've never told them mm -hmm. you know I feel that. You never know what's going to come out in this conversation. And if you keep talking about whatever the fuck you want to talk about, and you're truly you, and you're not afraid of speaking about anything, in this case, I'm asking you about you, like, dude, there's so much to share. So Hell much yeah, to learn bro. for me. Because you're experiencing something in life on this side, and I'm over there experiencing something else. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. And I could tell you, like, oh, bro, I heard a gunshots last night in the Dino. And you're oh, like... Shit. Bro, I, I heard five electric cars pass by. Fucking like, <laughs> <laughs> Tesla's reversing and shit. Ah. Bro, when Tesla's reversed, that shit creeped. When I first heard, first <laughs> Tesla I've ever heard reverse, bro, I was like, what the fuck is humming right now? And my it girl sounds was like, like something from the Jetsons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know what you're talking about. Bro, that shit's crazy. But 
But yeah, I've learned a lot from you, and hopefully you've learned a lot from me, and I feel like this is the best way from doing this podcast. Oh yeah, bro. For sure, 100%. And what I love is that you record this. So mm -hmm. after this, you get to see it outside the box. And I understand it even more, bro. It's so cool. And you know what? It's the same process with me when mm -hmm. DJing. When I record my mix and I play it in a car, mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, I I shouldn't have ran I shouldn't have ran this beat for this amount of time. Next mix, I'm gonna shorten it and transition. Mm -hmm. You know, and like you start seeing your work from the outside perspective of the box, yeah. and now you're creating it and adjusting it from outside the box. Mm -hmm. There's always two things to this. Don't if rush the process. If you're seeing the parts that are bad. Mm -hmm. You're at the same time you're seeing the things that you can improve, improve exactly. And how to do it, you know, mm -hmm. that's what I'm Growth. saying from this. Speak, my yeah. speech, speech. I'm trying to get that better. Oh yeah, me too. It's my hard. speech, vocabulary. Yeah, I want my English to be more like aesthetic, bro. Like I want that shit there. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't want to be. I used to splurge over my words so much. I don't know if you remember when I used to smoke a lot. Mm -hmm. Like I used to be like. Bro, like, like, just like, I'm the opposite. I lazy. speak too fast, so yeah. sometimes I'll stutter or I lose my train of thought, or I just don't say things that I wish I could have said them. Mm -hmm. I I like speaking slow, and I taught myself to speak slow, so like, people will understand what I'm saying. You mm -hmm. know, like you don't have to like keep up with my conversation. You, yeah, it's a mellow flow. You know, mm -hmm. I go with the flow, whatever I feel. If I'm like trying to speak fast and like this, this, this and that, you think I'm, you're trying to perform for somebody? Yeah, yeah. When it's like a professional like interview, when I'm like talking to the manager of the club, then I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, bro, so so, yeah, yeah. I'm Sergio, nice to meet you. Yeah, I DJ this, this and that, this and that. You know, like mm -hmm. I I make him like keep on trap. You know, yeah. and and it's always the same energy, bro. And I love that shit. Uh, we had a meeting yesterday at my work and they were like we're going from selling something to them which is really what we've never been doing mm -hmm. but more culture more relationship wise and i'm like well yeah like it makes sense like say and i put it into this perspective of the podcast that's like it's the same thing like yeah. i want to give you a good experience by putting myself in your shoes at the same time mm -hmm. so we're all figuring it out in yep. our own ways I want Literally. to see how you're figuring it out, and this is how I'm figuring it out. Fucking dope. We're on one. Yep. I think that's going to be the end yes, for sir. this podcast. Two hours Let's and 15 go. minutes with my cousin Sergio, DJ Serge. Stop playing with him. This is right here. Juan Peña. Take with a capital J. Yes, sir. You guys have to enjoy. Make sure to like and subscribe. Make sure to do... I'm not even going to say it. It was a Share this podcast. video. Share this video with everybody. everybody. Learn. Watch it with your sister or your girlfriend or your parents. Shit, or with they your might dog. Learn something. Or your dog. We talked Cats. about dogs in this podcast. Cats. Cats on mushrooms. Watch them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Give your cat a mushroom. By the way, don't take everything that we say <laughs> in this podcast too seriously. Again, we're just figuring shit out. And it's yeah. a matter of learning with everything Experiences. that you say. Experiences. Yes. That's what makes art. Yes, sir. All right. We out.